Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, um, after the fiasco that was yesterday, we're all ready to go and geared up, ready for a fantastic show. It was still a fantastic show yesterday. It was just a bit, just a little bit chaotic, wasn't it, really? Um, anyway, anyway, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. What day is it? Thursday. So a very, very wet Thursday today it is here in Birmingham. Uh, would you like to see today's menu? Lucy's back in the house today, by the way. Here is a le menu. So at eight o'clock, we've got a stash building hour. Gorgeous bundles coming up. Um, at nine o'clock, we've got Lucy's Quilting Corner, where when I go over to the other side, you'll see the gorgeous, gorgeous um, log cabin and courthouse steps that she's done there. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got So Useful That I've Got Tools and Everything Galore in that hour. And then at 11 o'clock, Lucy's Quilting Corner, she's doing one of my favourites. She's doing the um, Dresden. The Dresden plates, gorgeous, completely and utterly gorgeous. So that's the menu for today. Now we would love you to get in touch. We love getting your messages. We love getting your questions for, for the experts, for Lucy and everything like that. Anything you want to comment on. Yesterday it was mainly my shirt, wasn't it? The, a lot of you didn't like my shirt yesterday. Uh, so now we want you to get in touch. The best way to get in touch is by the web chat. And the way you do that is you go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. You click on watch today's show. And there you go, you see you've got the bigger screen there with that, that so it's a few, few centimetres behind, a uh, few centimetres, few, I'm sorry, I'm trying to tell Jay what to do at the same time as talking, I can't multitask. Um, so a, a few uh, uh, seconds behind, isn't it? So basically, what you do for the web check, see there, you've got to log in to do it, message the studio, send your questions and your comments. Now, please keep those down to a minimum because they do cut off after a sentence and a half. So, hello, John. It says there, right, now, if you look, um, while we're on the website, if you look down there, if you're watching later on this evening or this afternoon, and you think, what's John had on his show today? Everything that we have still in stock will be showing there where it says products from today's shows. That's all of yesterday's. They are all of yesterday's uh, products, but they will all disappear any second now. They will all disappear. And what we'll get is a new listing of everything. As I introduce it today, we'll get a new listing of everything we've got today. Then, you see, to the right-hand side, um, you see the... Um, um, where it says add to basket. All you need to do there is that's during the live show, live auction. Click on it, put it in your basket. Then you see the top right hand corner. Oh, what's she got in her basket today? What's Hannah emptied it yesterday? What's she bought today? She's bought some enzyme washed linen in turquoise. Uh, only half a meter. She only bought half a meter of that one. Um, so now, now you see where it says delivery £2.95. Don't worry, because it'll say that every time you check out. But what happens is at midnight, it's all your orders consolidated. So you only pay one post in packaging of £2.95 for the whole day. No matter how many times, no matter how many times, no matter how many times you um, check out, you only pay one P and P for two ninety five for the whole day for the whole day. Uh, now you can send an email because we love getting your pictures. We love getting your pictures. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com is where you send e longer emails, or or you can send, or you can send. Or you can send uh, 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 any email or pictures to there. Sorry, I'm, I'm dithering on, I'm dithering. I want to get on. I want to get on, I want to get on, I want to get on. Here we go. Oh, I'll go over, I'll go over while you're not looking at me. Look at this, though, look at this. Coming up later. Coming up later. Lucy, log cabin. Courthouse, that's spectacular. Oh, <laughs> now, we weren't meant to have this today. We weren't meant to have this today, but we've got it at 10 o'clock. We've got it at 10 o'clock. Oh no, it's fabulous. It's a light box, but a light box with a difference. Uh, uh, now, um, I wish I had more. I've got, a nice I've got a nice amount of stock, but I wish I had more. That's all I can say. Oh, I can't wait to show you that. It's so delicious because it's... I, I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start now. Anyway, well, Lucy's got one. Lucy's got one, so she can tell you about it when she comes on in her 10 o'clock hour. So, gorgeous fabric, stash delicious. Now, I've got three books as well to show you this hour. I'll put... I'll just put that... I, I, could, I normally have the books out here, didn't I? But I had to have that as well. So I've got the books here, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Remember, if you send in a web chat... It comes, it, Hannah will send it straight through to me here. So I will read out your messages. Oh, I've come untucked already. That's not a good start, is it? Right, where would you like to start? 
Right, oh, 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 oh. I don't know where to start. I, I pick up the, my, oh, this one. I'll pick up this one first. Uh, I love this one. I'll just move all these out of the way here so you can... Oh, there's so many beautiful bundles here for you to see. Right, what I'll do is I'll go through them quickly and then we'll go through them properly like we, we normally do. Now, what you get is you get half a metre of each fabric. So a total of... Two, oh, there. Shall I move the spot underneath there? Only because it seems to be moving. There we go. Nine, at two and a half metres of fabric for £19.45. pence. They're all Macau, these are the spot-ons, and these are the Spectrum solids here. I'll go through what the colours are later, because you don't need to remember the colours, because you'll get them in the bundle. But that's two and a half metres. For 19 pounds and 45 pence. They're beautiful, aren't they? I love those bright, zingy colours together. Right, so that one was called afternoon tea. Right, that's all you have to remember, afternoon tea. Next, I'll just go next, oh, I'll go. Oh. This is nice. If you love blues and yellows and golds, so let's, it's like a beach, isn't it? This is like round the world. This is like, remember the round the world, round the beach that um, I'm going to roll my sleeves up, uh, that um, Jane did the other day. Do you remember? This is called beach coma. Uh, Jay calls it <laughs> a beach comba, but we won't worry about that. There's lots and lots of things going on again today, but we're fine. We'll be very professional today. So. Uh, get, you've got two spot-ons. Right now, that, I think that price is wrong. Because you've got two spot-ons, you've got two linear prints, and you've got a Spectrum Solid for £19.95. Two and a half metres. That doesn't seem right, does it? That's the beach coma. Right, moving on to... Now, this is nice. This is a very eclectic... Let me put it round to the, the way that I would do it. Here we go. There we go. There we go. This is nice, look at this one. So what you get in this one is you get a green linear, you get a green spectrum solid, you get a lovely pink. This is a cottage garden, this one's called. Well, I, and now look at the way we've put it, the way I've done it. This is the grass, this is the stalk and the leaves, and then these are the flowers. Uh, so one linear, one spot on, three spectrums, 19 pounds and 45 pence for two and a half meters. Two and a half meters of Fabrico in there. They're lovely, aren't they? Uh, so that's the Cottage Garden. The Cottage Garden fabric bundle, that one. Now, loads of you putting that one in your basket. I'm not surprised. They're all gorgeous. I'll get rid of the loose threads there. Right, no. Uh, now this one. These are all Spectrum solids, these. These are all Spectrum solids. Wait till you see the price of this one. So you get two and a half metres of fabric again, 15.95. This is called Pastel Posy. Nice, isn't it? I'd call those sherbets myself. Okay, Hannah's seeing tulips, I'm seeing sherbets, and the creative team are seeing Pastel Posy. Yes. 15, they're gorgeous though, two and a half metres for 15 pounds and 95 pence. Half metre of the pink, the green, the blue, the purple, and the yellow. Oh, hang on, What's, I thought Timothy was going to be creative then, but I was wishing too much, wasn't I? Right. right. Here we go. This is nice, isn't it? This is lovely. You've got a spot on, you've got a linear, and you've got three spectrums in there. Sea view... That CV, you see, Hannah yesterday was talking about if she sits in the window of her house, in the bay window of her front, she sees the sea out of her window, right? She doesn't. She sees kind of a car park up the back of a Hollywood sign and a shed and a tree that's fallen down. But in her mind, she sees the... Do you know what? It's like Pierce Brosnan's house in Miami. Uh, do I mean Miami? No, I don't mean Miami. I mean... Hang on. Where, do, where is it that all the houses... Uh, over the water like that, and, there's, and you, you've got sticks holding the house up, and it looks over the water. Just outside LA. It'll come through. It's not Miami. It'll come to me in a minute. Oh, I, it is in California, but it's, it's that Malibu. 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 Went there. I went there for my, with my, you know my friend Marge, whose birthday it was, I went there with Malibu. 
to Malibu with Marge. We had a Starbucks and went to visit Pierce Brosnan. It was lovely. £23.95. And then the last one, that was just a casual name drop there. <gasps> this is nice. This is lovely. You've got three linear prints in this one and two spot-ons. That's lovely, isn't it? So let's have a look at the name of this one. Vintage. They're lovely. Those three linears are gorgeous. Those three together are just, I mean, all of them together are beautiful, but those three are stunning, aren't they? At £24.95. Aren't they lovely? Vin that's the vintage fabric. But Sue, morning, John. What fabulous bundles. Can't decide. Sue, I know. I know. Did you say you had one from Paul as well? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Right. Coming up at 10 o'clock. Coming up at 10 o'clock. It's not in here. Don't worry, it's not in here. <laughs> so exciting. I'm so excited. It's nice, isn't it? You like what? The sound effects. I wonder, oh, my sound effect, not your sound. Patricia, did I imagine it or have I seen a promo for die cutting machine? Yes, tomorrow. It's Sizzix, Sizzix. I do have issues because I want to keep calling it Sizzler for some reason. And the lady who's in charge of it is coming in to meet us today. And I'm like, get it right, get it right. Don't say all the shows, you know. Anyway, three books. Three lovely books to show you in this hour as well. I'll start with... Quick and Easy Quilts. This is gorgeous, we love this book. 20 Modern Machine Quilting Projects. Now, would you like me to show you now? Yes, go on, we'll have a quick, we'll have a quick flick now. We'll have a quick flick now. Um, Look at the, I'm talking about the seaside. No wonder Hannah loves this. The first page, it looks like waves on the sea, doesn't it? Which, uh, it's a lovely hard back book, this one. And the pictures are gorgeous, look. Uh, got, uh, that's what I love back, oh, look. Is that a headboard they put on? Do you know what? My Indian princess bed would look gorgeous with a, a quilt on like that. Oh, and that's so easy, look. It, that's so effective, isn't it? But look, it's, it's only chevrons, he says. Uh, oak flying geese migrating, look. Aren't they just beautiful? Red, blue, oh, that's lovely. Lucy's made that one apparently before. I've not seen that one. Uh, in, in real life or here? Oh, yeah, not here, not here, not on the show. Supernova quilt. I've not seen that. We'll ask her. She's on later. Oh, now I must have missed that page. Hang on. Summer picnic blanket. Under my umbrella. Oh, that's nice. Look at that one. Code chrome quilt. That's not, oh look, these are all beautiful. No wonder Hannah loves this. It's beautiful, a beautiful sparkling diamonds. Oh, that reminds us of where we used to work. We've got all the templates. Oh, that's nice. Scrappy trees. Let's have a look at that one in the full. Oh, oh, that looks quite complicated for me. Haley'd be able to do that one, wouldn't she? Oh, that's nice. Hang on, moving on. Day for night. Beautiful. Oh, look. I'm being a bit self-indulgent. Oh, look, you've got everything. You've got all the instructions, everything. Beautiful. Then we've got festive stars for Christmas. Oh, no, that's not Christmassy. Yeah. And if you did it in red and green, it's supposed to be very Christmassy. Oh, stormy sea. You see, Hannah? You could make your whole front room like, like as though it was in Malibu. Oh, now we've done this one, rainbow leaves, but much smaller. Look, it's nice, isn't it? This has got some lovely project, the planets. Oh, we've done that, we've done that, haven't we? We've got that, that's next to my desk, except it's a big 
poof, not a, just to go on the sofa like that. It's like a big floor cushion. And then three prime, oh, oh, so many projects. Love, love, love. Quick and easy quilt, 16 pounds and 95 pence. Badlyn Goldsworth is up. Right, Nicola, good morning, John. So lovely to see you. Have this book from a previous show, and it's absolutely amazing. Love the fabric cover. Yeah, it's not, it's not really a fabric cover. It's not got fabric on it, but it's made to look like it's got a fabric cover, isn't it? There's a beautiful book. 16 pounds and 95 pence. Your birthday's gone, Hannah. Hannah's saying, Hannah's hinting that she wants that as a present. Right now, you might have seen this yesterday in a, in a bundle. We did uh, quilting bundles, quilt bundles yesterday. This is another little uh, lovely, 12 fun and fabulous quilts for a busy schedule. Oh, we know what that means. Let me move that one that way. 12 pounds and 95 pence, this one. Uh, this is lovely. It's got the stunning stars, the optica, quick step. I think, I think, I agree. Yeah, I think getting these books, see, we had that yesterday in purple, didn't we, the corporal stripes? Um, I think you get hooked on buying quilting books because there's just so many, because they're all of a, you know, kind of, they're all from a, ba they're all from basic blocks, aren't they? And yet, they can all look so different. I know. Oh, no, I love this one. Hang on, where's that one? It's good. Look, love that one. Lucy's brought in a quilt today that she has on her bed and it's absolutely exquisite. Quick and easy quilts, 12 pounds and 95 pence. Sorry, I'm getting off the light on there. Right, and then I've got one other little book to show you then I will go through the fabrics once more. That, that, they're very popular, they're very popular. Uh, lap and throw quilts. Now this is what Hannah needs to start making because she and her flatmate Karen on a Sunday when they've had a heavy night out dancing in, um, well I don't know where they go on, velvet rooms in Birmingham. Velvet sweet is it called? Sugar sweet? Spring baskets. That's too classy really for Hannah. She goes to like, um, what's that thing called? The street market where you buy your foods from, that kind of thing. Digbeth Dining, that's it. Uh, triangular fever, which is very nice. I'm not dissing it. I'm not dissing it at all. Modern comfort. But on a Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, they sit and they watch the telly wrapped in duvets. Well, um, Hannah has a duvet. Karen has to sit there shivering because Hannah won't put the heating on. Yeah, she said she brings her own things for the sofa, which she's allowed to sit on. Karen's got a chair, but no duvet to cover herself with. And also they've got one of those machines on the, um, on the man, oh, that's nice, Puzzle Hearts, that tells you how much electricity to use. And if it goes faster than so many, I don't know what it looks like, but if it goes, oh, look, that's, that's, that's brilliant. Um, if it goes faster than a certain amount of speed, then they turn the heating off, or they turn the kettle off or something like that. Lap and thread, beautiful, 12.95. Right, let's go through the bundles again, because they're very, now you might have known the box has gone, it'll be back. It'll be back. Jay's just taking it away from me. Right, the most popular one is the Vintage, which with, uh, it is beautiful. I'll just run through the colours with you here, because you've got two spot on, you've got two linears. It's called Vintage, it's called Vintage Fabric, this one. I'd have called it Vintage Chic myself, but uh, anyway. T rose in the linen texture there. Cream in the linear texture. Oh, linear, not linen. Linear, linear, yeah. Old oh, spot on, we'll jump, spot on cheeky pink. Cameo. And, and then the spot on teal. They're beautiful, aren't they? Actually, I mean, people are multiplying this because you get half a meter, remember you get half a meter of each one of these. Now, if you, yes, because if you buy two bundles, they don't come joined up, just so you know. We're working on that at the moment, but um, they won't come joined up if you buy two metres. If you buy two, two bundles, you get two half metres of each colour, that's what it is. Oh, I don't know, I'm just being a bit creative for a Thursday morning. The new linear texture colours are beautiful, aren't they? Oh, they look nice, don't they? 
Yes, John, they do. Oh, they look a bit messy. They might look a bit messy. Love. Oh, maybe I wouldn't put that one. Maybe I wouldn't put that one in the middle. No. Well, like, it's a bit difficult to do diamonds when you've got the piece of fabric. Hannah's going, could you do diamonds, John? I could do diamonds later because I've got diamond... Te oh, I don't know if I've got the diamond templates. I've got templates later. They're gorgeous. That's the most popular. And people multi-buying. People multi-buying that one. Not surprised. It is lovely. I'll just fold it back up. So you get half a metre of each of the fabrics, remember. That's vintage. That one's called vintage. Okay, the next most popular, cottage garden which is the flower one. This one is lovely because I said it's like the grass, the stalk, and then the flowers. Flowers. So you get cottage garden, you get half a meter of each in here. So let me just run you through these fabrics. Lots of people got this one in their basket. That spot on candy, the pink one in the middle. Linear texture green. Uh, fuchsia. Real purple. And pistachio. £19, 45 pence. Remember, you get half a metre of each one. I know, that's real purple. I'd say that was amethyst. I'd agree with fuchsia on that one. Uh, so did we say that one was cheeky pink? Cheeky pink, it is cheeky. Uh, pistachio, I don't eat nuts, so I couldn't tell you. And then that's lovely. That's a gourd. That's just called green linear, but it is the most beautiful colour. No, can't go wrong when just saying green, can you? It's like a, a limey, it's got a, um, what are those little fruits called in the morning? Hang on. Kiwis. Kiwi uh, on top of grass, I'd say. It looks like what, Hannah? Oh, yes, like one little Paul's green smoothies in the morning. Now, and then Paul drinks his smoothie. He's got green bits in his teeth for the rest of the day. He's vegetarian now for two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. He went vegan for a week and then realised he needed something else. Right, OK. So that's that one. I love that one. That one. So that we've done vintage and that vintage and that's country garden. Sea View is next. Uh, this is Hannah's favourite, but don't let that put you off by any means. In this one, you get a one spot on. It's 23.95, two and a half metres. You get half a metre of the spot on, half a metre of the linear, and then three spectrum solids with this one. So, petrol blue in, in the linear texture. This is dark teal in the spot on. Teal. Azure and marine blue are your three solid blues. Right, okay. This is Hannah's tip to all you lady quilters out there who've been doing it for years and years and years. Hannah, who's been doing it not even the six months, she said, buy it all, put it in your stash, because don't put it all in the same quilt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Hannah, you know I don't mean it. A what? An inventor? Oh, okay. What? I think they look gorgeous together, though. I don't see what, what issue you've got with them all together. Oh, yeah, no, no, you're right. I'd put some ivory with that. I haven't got an ivory piece today. But I'd put an... Uh, Yes, you need something in it just to lift it. What Lucy always says, you need a focus, don't you? You need a focus. Right. I, I, that was it. Uh, wear somewhere for your eye to rest. Yes, yeah, so that's out of a different bundle, right? That's out of a different bundle. I'm just saying how a cream just lifts it, or an ivory just lifts it, doesn't it? That's the, the froth on the top of the waves. That is lovely, isn't it? So... Two and a half metres of fabric, three spectrum solids, uh, one spot on and one linear, 
for £23.95, half a metre of each one. That, that's lovely, that new petrol linear, isn't it? It's stunning. Oh, now I've, put, I've folded those completely differently. Never mind. Oh, yes. Oh, do you know what would be nice if you did stripes? Look. I wonder if I can make the effect with this. If you did stripes, like the log... Log cabin in those would look gorgeous, wouldn't they? Do you get where I'm coming from? H Hannah's there. Hannah's there. Okay, so that's so we've done vintage, we've done cottage garden, and we've done uh, marine uh, sea view, sea view. So I've got three more to show you now. Oh, now beachcomber has suddenly rushed into. A lead. This is beach coma. So you get two, this is the one that I think isn't, I think you're getting more value for your money on this one. You've got two spot-ons, you've got two uh, linear prints, and you've got the spectrum solid. Beautiful, beautiful colours, aren't they? The spectrum solid here, nautical blue. It's beautiful, isn't it? You've got, now, this is the one I always have an issue with, right? They call that cobalt spot-on. But that's what it's called, but it's not a cobalt. This is more cobalt, isn't it? So that's cobalt spot on. This is sunshine linear, which is beautiful. Look at that gold and colours in there. Riviera, that's new to me, that one. Riviera blue in the linear. And sand in your spot on. They're beautiful. That's very, well, it's very popular because I think you, you realise what a fabulous bargain you're getting for the price. £19.95. And it's a bit cold. Shall I get, do you want Jay to bring you up a lap quilt? Okay, no, last two. Sherbet, oh, it's not called Sherbet, I'd call it Sherbet, this one. If you just want your stash of spectrum solids, you've got five half meters of there. Wasn't it called posy, the pastel posy? You've got baby pink, mint, baby blue, lilac, and maize in that bundle. Fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. You get two and a half meters of fabric there. Half a meter of each. Fantastic stash, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stash. Oh, now that's Timothy, director. Timothy's favourite one, that one. Right. Last but not least. Who? Who? Okay. Look at the colours in this one. This, is, this was my favourite when we started. Afternoon tea, this one's called. £19.45. So you get the two spot-ons and the three spectrums in there. This is pistachio. This is raspberry. This is yellow. Sunshine. Cornflower and candy floss. They're lovely together, aren't they? And 19 pounds and 45 pence for two and a half meters. They're lovely, aren't they? Really lovely. They're so lovely together, aren't they? At 19 pounds and 45 pence for two and a half meters. Now, well, let's try and work out why that's afternoon tea. I think it's 1950s. Looks like a 1950s melange, that one. I haven't used that word for a while, have I? Melange. No, I don't think it's anything to do with the actual afternoon. It's what the ladies are wearing to have their afternoon tea. I don't think it's named after like a cup of tea with a cake. I forgot my water, that was all. 19 pounds and 45 pence. They're lovely colours, vibrant, bright. Now, if you're going to buy two bundles, which ones would you put together? 
I think those would look nice together, wouldn't they? Look at those two. Oh, yes, they work. They work. Hannah doesn't agree with me. I think they'd look gorgeous together. Because you'd, gra you'd grade it through from, from the pastel through to the bright colour, you see. Oh, no, you have to rearrange them. You just don't put them in like that. Well, no, because it would mean mixing the two bundles. Was that... Is that okay? Right, okay, so we'd start off with them. Lilac, pink. Pink, yeah. See, see? Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit stuck now, hang on. Look, would that go there? That one has to go, that one goes, no, it doesn't. Oh, maybe. I've mixed the two bundles. I've mixed afternoon tea with pastel posy. So, they're really gorgeous, aren't they, together? Mix, oh, do you know what they haven't done? They haven't done the yellow and grey one. That's Adele's fault, that one. Remember we had a lady messaging the other day saying, can you do a yellow and grey one? And I said, I'll go and ask Adele. And she said, yep, don't worry, I'll do that. I'll have, to have, I'll have a word with Adele later. Right. Yeah, Adele. She watches every day, Adele, it's fine. She sits next to the telly. She can't, she can't help but listen to me. Okay, I'll get a chance to put those two back together. And I'll move on. Oh. There is grey and yellow in the cup band, but there's also purple that's coming up. Uh, next hour, next hour. Lucy's in. Oh, she's had a new hairdo. She looks lovely. No, no, she always looks lovely. She looks even more lovely today. Right. Well, I'm just thinking that now. Uh, would, they need sorting back into... Um, oh, but you know what? Maybe I'll put these back together because I'm going to need to blend them. So just uh, read them out for me again. Yep, yep, uh, yes, uh, yep, oh, hang on, yep, this is the, this is the pastel posy that we're doing here, yep, 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 got it, I knew that, right, there we go, and then that one was this one, wasn't it, brilliant, now, oh, now, pastel posy, after I've done that mixing and matching, gone crazy, gone absolutely crazy, so, no, I'm going to put that one over there. I've got pastel posy back over there. I'm going to keep afternoon tea out, and I'm thinking cottage garden. No, look, because you've got the co different colours. You've got all the you've got the three greens. So this one here is cottage garden. This one here is afternoon tea. But what I'm thinking. Oh, oh no, hang on, you get, you get two the same then in that, two pistachios, there's one, yeah, you must get two pistachios in there. You'd have to make pistachio your main background colour, wouldn't you? There you go, look, look at those together. Yeah, pistachio here would have to be your backing, because obviously if you bought both of those, you'd get two lots of um, the pistachio there. But... Or your binding, maybe, yeah? That's nice, isn't it? Love that, love that. Now, I've, mud I've muddled those up, so hang on, let me just recreate the... So this one was... Cottage Garden is the purple, the pink, the green, the green. And is it the... Um, candy spot on, there we go. There you go. So that's your Cottage Garden. That's your cottage garden there, and this one here is your afternoon tea. I know. Now, going to Hannah's fave. Oh, okay, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. So this is Hannah's favourite. This is um, Seaside. No. 
Sea view, sea view, sea view, sea view. The view that's what I remember, the view from, the front, from her front window, when she's going to be living in Malibu. You don't want to move. Oh, you could see the sea from Hove if you lived in Hove. Might not be that colour every day. Oh, that's the kind of mood she'd say. She wants to live in Hove and have intense storms outside. I wouldn't call that intense storm, though. I'd call that California sea, this. Yeah, I wouldn't call that intense. You see, now, she's asking whether you could mix sea view and vintage. Yes, you could. So this is sea view, this one here, and this is vintage. Again, what you'd have to do is graduate it through, wouldn't you? But tonally, do you know what? Let's just take that out and that out. Look at old Hannah there. There you go. Do you know what you could do? You could do, you know, we had yesterday Lucy's, Lucy's quilt that was like the seaside with boats, with sails. What you could do is you could do the seaside like that and they just do the sails in the pink just to lift it, couldn't you? £23.95 for the sea view. Twenty-four forty-five for the vintage. The vintage, you've got two, three linears. We love those three linear prints together, plus the two spot-ons. And then the sea view, you get the linear, the spot-on, and the th three spectrums there. They're lovely, aren't they? Ooh, now. Let's have a look at some of the quilts and see which colour bundles we do them in. Let's go to Hannah's favourite book which is the quick and easy quilts, and see. Well, there's this one, first of all, before we even start. Look, that would be lovely. Now, that would look lovely in, in either the um, sea view or the vintage, really, wouldn't it? So let's just go through, that's a nice chair, isn't it? Is it all right being flat, Timothy? You know, it's not too gleamy, it's gleamy. Right, let's get to the projects, because Ooh. Cottage, yeah, I agree, cottage garden. Cottage garden. Nice. She says I'm insulting to her. Do you know what I mean? She just picks on me the whole time. Birds migrating. Now this is oh look. Ooh, now what would you do with the what would you do the um I mix first of all uh pastel posy and um afternoon tea. No, I can't put three graphics in, I'm afraid, at the same time. Mm. <clears throat> pastel posy, let me just do pastel posy first of all. That would look lovely. Obviously, you'd need more than two and a half meters to do the front of that. Or would you? Or would you, you see? Because you'd need, you'd need a one fabric that you chose as your background fabric, but then the colors could be those, couldn't they? It's lovely. You could do, I mean, you could do, that's what we love about quilting. You can do what they've done in the book, or you could just completely do your own thing, just take their. Log cabin, which we're doing in the next hour, so I'll move on from that one. Then we've got the supernova quilt. It's nice, isn't it? I, I, I think I might do that one in, um, oh, this one here. I know it's completely different to theirs, but you see, you could do that in your yellows, couldn't you? This is called beachcomber, this one. I know it's, it's complicated. They've only got five colours. No, they can't have. No, it's only five squares across. They've got more than five colours in there. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, five colours. Five colours. Nice, isn't it? Lovely. Uh, moving on. Any questions you've got, make sure you get them in. Summer picnic blanket. Oh, this is just, this will be all of them, wouldn't it? Let's just have a look at this one. Oh, look, oh, I've just noticed. Look at the end. Look at the end of the... the 
that the, the, the pattern at the end of each page is the quilt that they're talking about. Look, that is the summer, that is the summer picnic basket quilt there. Right, that one. Oh, you'd have to have all of them. I can't get that many graphics in, but if you've got all of those, imagine how beautiful that would be. I know it looks a bit messy on the table, doesn't it? But it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, so the Quick and Easy Quilts is the book. And then obviously there are all the different bundles which I'm telling you about. Can't, we can only put two graphics in at a time, so I can't do that. But just to show you all the different colors you could use. Under the umbrella. Um, the, if you go to Bristol, is it Bristol at the moment? There's, um, a lot of people are putting it on um, Instagram. There's a whole arcade and they've made a roof for the arcade out of colored umbrellas, haven't they? Is it not Bristol? Oh, it is Bristol. That's nice, so I'll look that one. But you need to, have, oh, no, 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 because you make each block out of two different colors, don't you? Because each block, look, is just two colors. So that could be blue and yellow. That one could be pink and green. That one could be purple and, you know what I mean? It's, I think it's lovely. Uh, sparkling diamonds. Forever, they are. I don't feel like a sparkling diamond today. More like, a, I'm more like a smoky quartz today. Oh yeah, <laughs> could be worse. Um, this one, lot of work in that one, lot of work. And day for night. This is the one that Hannah loves here. Okay, if anybody's making a quilt this afternoon, Hannah would love that one. That's still not the same. That's the same, but the blocks are placed differently, isn't it? Colours are the same. Yeah, they are, because you've got the green there, you've got the green there, you've got the blue there, you've got the blue there. They've just put it in a different, a different order. Look, the reds and the pinks there. That's real, and this one's coloured in, that's why. Anyway, let's move on. Festive stars. Now, you see, they say that's Christmas. Oh, they've used it as a tablecloth. It's nice. That's elaborate. Uh, there, there, look at that one. Uh, the corridor of umbrellas was in beautiful bath. Thank you, Tina, my love. Did you go, Tina? Tina? Did you go? Did you, have, did you go and have a look at them? Are you from there? Oh, hang on, where's she from? Oh, she's not far from there. She's not far from there. Uh, Rainbow Leaves Runner. That's lovely, isn't it? It's a bed runner, that one. Look. On a bed. Uh, we've made this. Lucy's made this. Was it Lucy that made it? I'm sure Lucy's made this one. Like you've seen that other one. Jay, you couldn't find me the, um, the quilt that's log cabins with a red balloon on it, could you? He looks like he's about to burst into tears. I love that cushion, but look. Oh, it's not a, oh Jay, it's not a real balloon, it's a quilt. It's a quilt. You're not frightened of quilted balloons as well, are you? Sorry. Oh, I completely forgot. Yeah, but you're more likely to bump into a balloon in a studio than you are a sheep, aren't you? Because they're just telling me Lucy's scared of sheep. Oh, that's a shame, because I've, I've um, bought you a sheep for her birthday. That's a shame. Uh, June, morning, John. I'm like a zombie this morning. Oh, June, why ever's that? June, why ever's that been up all... Oh, oh, June, I've just read. I'm not reading that out. Snuggled up on sofa now watching the fabulous show. Have you got a beautiful quilt wrapped around you, June? Now, now I think I may have. I think I may have brought that on for you, June, because wasn't it your message yesterday that I read out wrong and I said June needs a bog? Was it not June? Do you remember? And it said bag, and I read status bog, and now you're poorly today. I hope I haven't transferred. That's not a transference onto you, June. 
Oh, June, take care, my love. Drink lots, drink lots of water. There's lots of messages to come through. June, drink lots of water. I'll have to wait for the next one. We'll carry on with the book for the time being. No, this is nice. Look at this, little schoolhouses. That's a wall hanging. That's beautiful, isn't it? Marie in Air, she says, morning, John. I love it when you're on. You make my day. Love, Mary in Air. Oh, thank you, Mary. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Morning, John. I'm in the middle of quilting the supernova quilt in this book. Oh, that's what... Oh, is it the star one? Is it that the big star one? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is that it? Is that supernova? Yes, look. Uh, how far through it are you, Cindy? How far have you got through it? That's beautiful. Are you going to cross hatch it like they have in there? Oh, I, now I take it back. I take it back completely. And so do you, Timothy. You know the balloon quilt? We haven't got the fabric here. Can I show it? Can I show it? What, what page was it on? Where was it? There, look, right? So this is the balloon quilt. Uh, in the book, in the book, in the book. Look. Is it upside down? Hang on. No, it's right. Isn't it beautiful? Now I take that back because um, Timothy and I had not seen that one. Hannah was adamant. Um, um, that's gorgeous. So that's a log cabin. It's a log cabin in the back, isn't it, Hannah? Oh, do you know what this would look lovely in? Wouldn't that look lovely in those colours? Yes, but you can have, this is pink sky, this, it was pink when I picked you up this morning. Oh no, you were late. It was pink sky this morning. Do what? You do it on purpose. Yes, it was pink. Yeah, but by the time Hannah got to the car, pink sky. No, it's red sky in the morning, shepherd's morning. Uh, that's beautiful, isn't it? She's so talented, isn't she, Lucy? Right, okay. So let me, I've gone through that book. Uh, I've done Cindy, yep. Uh, I do, I do, they change the display regularly, I live nearby, that's the umbrellas that I was talking about, oh do they? Oh, um, I'll have to come and visit, actually don't we have, a, doesn't my friend Elizabeth live in Bath, I'm sure she does, oh yes, oh so Sonia, Sonia's waiting for Lucy, she loves us two together, thank you so much, um, Right, I think we've had to recap, haven't we, really? They're all... What happened then is everybody's messages obviously got stuck in the ether and they all suddenly came through at the same time. Christine, I love all your... No, Christine says, John, I love all your shirts. Love the extra fabric information you give too. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Christine. It's only because I love it. It's only because I love it so much. Uh, right. Vintage fabric bundle. Right. That's this one, right? Half, yeah, this is vintage, yeah, this is vintage. Over half the stock of this one has gone. Isn't that lovely? I just want to have a quick look at that because I just need a quick slurp of motto. Bit of information about this one. Most people who've bought this one have bought two. Be nice. Well, that means you'd have five metres of fabric, and five metres of fabric would make a nice front of a quilt, wouldn't it? That's a, such a beautiful, it is a beautiful, beautiful collection, that one. You've got your three linear prints and your two spot-ons for £24 and 45 pence. Oh, now, isn't it funny? I thought, when I was saying it, I thought... Do you know what? One of my friends that put the picture on won't be in Bath. They'll be in where I used to live, near, near Twickenham. Um, apparently, there's one of those um, installations of umbrellas in Kingston upon Thames as well. I wonder which bit they put it in. Oh, you didn't put your name on that one. Oh, it's Sewing Nuts. Hello, Sewing Nuts. How are you, my love? That's, that's, that's everybody, isn't it, really? Um, anyway, so that's vintage. That's vintage. That's vintage. The Pastel Posy. Pastel Posy, half the stock of this one's gone as well. More than half the stock of this one's gone as well. Not surprised. 15 95 
Right now, there's a lot of you have got this in your basket. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out if you definitely want that one. It's lovely, isn't it? 15, and good value, 15.95. And they're such beautiful colors together, aren't they? And like Hannah said, all of these could sit in your stash until you know, until you get that project that you want. Right, so that's pastel posy. Uh, beach coma. This is lovely. Lots of people have got beach coma in their basket. You get a look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's like your, su your sun and sand. What's the matter? Uh, well, I lived in Twickenham for like 20 years. So do I know what? Oh, it's about, oh, okay then. It's in Eden Walk. I know exactly where that is. 19 pounds and 95 pence. Lots and lots and lots of you got that in your basket. Please make sure you check out. £19.95. They're lovely, aren't they? Because you can just see. You know what looked lovely? In Hannah's favourite book, there's that wall hanging, isn't there? Was it near the back? Uh, here, here, this one. Look, wouldn't, wouldn't that one... Can you see it like that? Look, wouldn't that one look gorgeous in those colours? Uh, do you know what? You see the wall? Uh, when we first started, we, we had a wall. No, no, we had a wall like that outside in our prep area, didn't we, to start with? Do you remember? I think that's, that would look lovely in those colours. Be more, it would be more bold, uh, bolder. Vintage bundle would great as a quilt for a baby girl's nursery. Lots of love, Lorraine. Oh, it would, Lorraine, wouldn't it? Picture... Oh, there you go. I've got some information for you. Right, the bundle that I asked for, Adele's done it, but not for my show. It's on on Saturday, did you say? Did you say Saturday? Saturday. It's on on Saturday. If you were the lady who asked for the grey and yellow bundle, it's on Saturday. Is Adele crying then? Well, no, no. Uh, this is Skyfall. This is Skyfall. Um, thank you, Adele. Right. I don't know that song. Here we go. Hannah's favourite. Stormy Seas, she calls this one. Sea view. Lovely, isn't it? Because you get the... Uh, you've got the spot on. You've got the linear. And then you've got the three spectrum solids. The, down to single figures on that one. Down to single figures on that one. I know, single figures, that one. It's lovely, though, isn't it? Lovely mix of fabrics, that one. Okay, I've got two more to show you before I go. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I've got Lucy coming up next, obviously. Where's the box? I only took it away for a quick picture and I've not had it back yet. Uh, okay, here we go. This one is called, this was my favourite afternoon tea, this one. Beautiful, you got the pink. Why is it, I don't know why, because you, sometimes you don't know why, do you? You don't know. The colours are just, I love the colours all popping out. Put it down quietly, Joe. 19 pounds and 45 pence. Oh, Lucy's been a nightmare. Lucy's in with a new hairdo. She looks like my friend Lindy. She looks just like my friend Lindy. You'll see in a minute, she'll be here in five minutes. Well, she's here already waiting, but she'll be in five minutes working. Now she, yeah, cause she arrived, she just gossiped since she's been here. Sat and sit in the other room gossiping with the girls. Afternoon tea, fabric bundle, 19 pounds and 45 pence. I know, she's made that for us, though. She's been a bit busy, hasn't she? Just, you know, threw it together in a hundred days of sewing. Silent sewing. No, she doesn't have to, but she chose, didn't you? She used to do it every night, do a bit of silent sewing for a hundred days. It was quite nice, actually. She, I said, can you not do it at work instead? <laughs> anyway, oh, got to go on, got to go on. Cottage garden now. This is lovely. The colours in here, pistachio and the greens. 
And then the lovely pinks there and the real, uh, is that the real purple? Yep. Nine, yep. 19 pounds and 45 pence. You see, I like all of them. I'd be, if I was at home, I'd be so flummoxed as about which one to buy. Lorraine says, quick and easy quilts book is fabulous. You're a diamond. Oh, thank you. I don't, I, like I said, I don't feel like a diamond today. Oh, that's this book. That's this book. A, a diamond in the rough. I'm one that hasn't been discovered yet. I'm still underground. I'm still a bit of carbon. That's what I am. I'm the, the, the diamond before it's formed into a diamond. So I'm a bit of coal, really. The Quick and Easy Quilts 20, we love this book. We love, Lucy's made loads out of this book. Lucy likes this book as well. I don't know what she's come as today. Anyway, I'm going to go now and have a bit of a break. Uh, we can ask Lucy about this. If you've got any questions about the light box, ask Lucy in the next, because she's got one. She's got one. Yeah, some of you be going, why do I need a light box? Anyway, don't go anywhere. In three minutes time, Lucy will be here. Courthouse steps, creative grids, uh, log house. No, not log house, log cabin. No, it's courthouse and log cabin. But she's put the two together, so I've made it into a log house. Uh, don't go anywhere. It'll be better when Lucy's here in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products, excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a running stitch, which is a really simple row of stitches that is creating a nice straight line for you. So we're going to start with the back of the fabric. We're going to bring the needle up through the back to the front and we're going to make a small stitch. Now, the size of this stitch would really depend on what it is that you're doing, but I'm just going to keep this to a sort of small to medium sized stitch so you can see where I'm going. So, and you can see I've gone in and out of the fabric, and I'm going to bring the needle back through to the front with the same distance of the stitch I've just created. I'm going to go back into the fabric, and then out of the fabric. So this is great if you need to sew something at home. And there's also another quick method where you can also just use the needle and make several stitches at once by piercing the fabric as you go along. So you can see that I've got three stitches there on my needle already and now I just need to pull that through. So there we have a running stitch. Britain's favourite sewing show is coming to London and we'll be there with bells on. The Great British Sewing Bee Live is taking place over four days from the 21st to the 24th of September at XL London. If you're a hobbyist dressmaker who's been inspired by what you've seen on the Sewing Bee, a seasoned professional looking for new ideas, or just fancy taking dressmaking up for the first time, this is the event for you. We are proudly sponsoring the Demo Theatre with live performances from designer, author and former Sewing Bee contestant Jennifer Taylor throughout the weekend. And with our discount code SQD, you'll get £1.50 off your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now and join the buzz at the Great British Sewing Bee live this September. Yes, you've all been waiting for her. She's made this for us. Look, log cabin in the middle, courthouse steps on the outside. That's right, isn't it, Mrs. Brennan? She's nodding her head. It is, she says. 
Mrs. Brennan. They say, oh, it's weird to call that. We don't think it was Mrs. Brennan. Sorry, she's over there. She's over there. You haven't seen her yet. Do you want to see a new hairdo? Show us your new hairdo. <laughs> Smile. There. <laughs> she's got a hex here. You look, have you got no, have you not got heels on today? Oh. Nothing's wrong. You look gorgeous. But you I look never have heels on. Maybe I've just forgotten how short I've you are. I've shrunk. I've started shrinking. Well, little Paul's shrunk, hasn't he? Yeah. And you're about the same age as little Paul, aren't you? Oh, no, you're younger. Oh, far, sorry. Right. Anyway, 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 anyway. Lucy's going to do log cabin courthouse steps. Beautiful, beautiful quilt. We've done three bundles. These bundles have seven metres of fabric in each bundle. Now, just a minute ago, I said, oh, where's the yellow and grey bundle? Oh, Adele promised. There's a beautiful yellow and grey bundle. That one. That one, yellow and grey bundle, you get purple as well. You get purple as well, but you've got yellows and greys and purple in it. We'll start with this one. It's this one. Here. Let me move those out of the way. <gasps> so th this is the set. I'll ask Lucy how much you can do with the seven metres in a minute. You get seven metres of fabric. I, I don't know why I'm pointing out because you can't see it. That beautiful quilt that Lucy's made are in these fabrics, right? That one. Okay, so. What I might do, what I might do is I might be a bit naughty and during the show I might take it down and waft the actual quilt because you're not doing, it's not doing it totally justice up there. Anyway, look at this, look at this, look at this. So you get a metre of each of these fabrics. So you've got the per, look, uh, it, right, let me just move that one out of the way. So the, the lady who wanted the grey and yellow bundle, there is one coming up on Saturday, but I'm not in on Saturday. You see, that's gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous with, it's gorgeous with this as well, but look at those colours, a metre of each. So you've got yellows and greys. So I'll, tell you through, I'll take you through the colours, right? So you get a metre of everything. Forest fruits, lemon, ochre, uh, sulphur. This one's called sulphur here, this one underneath here. Then we've got uh, mercury. Do you say mercury? Oh, glacier grey, glacier grey. Slate and zinc. Ooh, I think they've changed the name of that one. Anyway, they're beautiful, aren't they? Seven metres of fabric for £51.45. and pence. I know, that's a lovely bundle. I like the way they've got the kink in each of them at different places. That's nice. Oh, hang on. People waving at me now from the door. Um, right, okay, so that's that one. That's that one. Which one would you actually... I'm going to do this one next. <gasps> this. I love this. Now, again, take away the yellow. Because what they've done is they've put one... They've put one... Uh, what's the word I'm looking What's that word? Juxtaposition fabric in, haven't they? Because look at those together. Look, you see. Yeah, you see, it, it, sort of, you need an extra colour, don't you, to add in. So this is called Very Berry Quilting Fabric, seven metres. £51.45. pence. But then you also get that incredible... Those together, don't they look gorgeous? Absolutely. I'm seeing... Is there a quilt where you have a sun in the middle and then all the colours kind of just... You know, or Bargello, this would look nice to the Bargello, wouldn't it? Anyway, so you get in here, you get a metre of each of the fabrics. A bright yellow, obviously. Baby pink. Magenta. Oh, there's one, there's one hiding underneath here. Azalea. That, that's linear, obviously. Very linear. Yeah, see, Azalea's linear, plus the berry. Then you've got claret, or as Hannah calls it, clarinet. And then damson. Oh, that's the funniest damson I've ever seen. I love, I love that bundle. Oh, I love, I love both of those bundles. How much are they? 51, 45. So if you, could, if you bought both those, you'd have 14 metres of fabric for just over 100 pounds. Oh, that's fantastic. And then last but not least, now this is nice. We had one a bit like this the other day with the orange. It was it yesterday. We had orange and blue together and they work. So in the bag yesterday, in the bag yesterday, this is nice. Again, look, a metre of each of these fabrics. This is called Nicely Nautical. Yeah, nice. Vienna Orange which we all love. Gorgeous, gorgeous Vienna orange there. Ocean, cornflower, pearl blue. Then you've got a linear print, vanilla, optical white. Then look at that one, indigo. That's one of our new ones, indigo in linen. Let me take that off so you can have a, have a look at that. 
You get a meter of each of these, remember? Meter of each of these. I love the print on that one. Look, can you see? It's beautiful. Anyway, you want less of me and more of Lucy, so come on. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> Hi, How are you? I'm very Where well, have you thank been? you. Having you know, your hair done, apart from having jolly. It so suits you now. Thank you. It's really lovely. It takes thank years you. off you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, about 50 now. Well, I got offered help with my, with my suitcase this morning so many times. I thought maybe I look really old. No, we're going, oh, John, help with your suitcase, <laughs> madam. That's what they're doing. It could be that bath top it you're nice. wearing. <laughs> and your pyjamas. <laughs> they always pajamas, go well together, usually, don't they? Usually, yeah. Right, work. Work. What are you making? This is gorgeous. So, yeah, so I made this quilt. Um, I'm using the Creative Grids um, Log Cabin Trim, trim tool, tool 2. Yes. And um, the really nice thing about that is it makes three different blocks, helps you make three different blocks. Is that going to work? Sorry. So oh, rather than... I'm trying to show the ruler off. So sorry, yeah, Lucy. That's all right. So rather than just do log cabins, I thought I'd put the courthouse steps in there as well. You've used this one a lot. There's lots of fingerprints on it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one makes both your 6 and your 12-inch finished block, doesn't it? Does, it does, yes. And you can do log cabins, courthouse steps, and half log cabins with it as well. So so, so you've got on this one here, well, how big are the blocks on the one you've done there? The, um, 12 inch finished. 12 nice. inch finished. So, that, so you can use that for 12 inch finish and 6 inch finish on this block. Yes. So the ones down the middle are the log cabins. Yes. And the ones down the outside are courthouse steps. Yes. That's right. So there's. Um, uh, I knew. I knew when she brought it in. I went, oh, they're I didn't say courthouse steps, so did I? I said court courtyard, I think you said. <laughs> but I got all <laughs> We have all kinds of variations of yes. it. Yes. But um, we, we knew what we So they're different. The corner ones are slightly different because no. they have the yellow and the grey in. But the log cabins are the same. Okay, but you so can also do a half log cabin on this. And you can do a half log, ca log cabin. Now, well, does yeah. it come in another size? Have you got? An... Yeah, there is. There's an eight-inch one as well. Oh, yeah. hee 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 hee. Yeah. There's an eight-inch version. So that one there does six and twelve, and this one does an eight-inch. That just oh, that one there you go. That one just does the eight-inch. But we're concentrating on the twelve-inch today, aren't yes. we? Yes. Right. So, yeah. so if you want an eight inch, you see, I could have done with that for my, because our yes. blocks have to be eight inch. Do you see my block? No, you've not oh, seen yes, it in real life. I've seen a picture. I saw a picture. I've not seen it in real life. You'll have to show um, me. But I thought it was going to be the best, and then I've seen all the others. And uh, we have, oh, Hannah, we haven't seen yours this morning. But yours has shirts in it. Yes. So you mine. win. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. So, 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 can I just explain, when you get a creative grid ruler, you do get one of these little pamphlets with it, like a little um, fold-out leaflet, and it's got so much information on it. Look, about the courtyard, no, courthouse steps, log cabin, and half... Oh, is that the half log cabin, the one at the bottom there? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Yes. So it, it's got all the instructions, but what, what you, why you need this ruler is now, in the next hour, I've got one for a curvy log cabin. Yes. But it's the same principle. So if you watch Lucy do this and you fancy a curvy log cabin ruler later, then w I've got it in the next hour. So what's the, what is so special about this ruler? Um, what's so special is quite often when you're making log cabins, it's easy for your seams to sort of go slightly awry. And um, especially if you're doing it on a, on a bigger scale, that becomes more obvious. Um, it's really nice to be able to do the 12. I like a 12 inch block is quite a standard size in quilting and yes. um, but it's nice because you can make a quilt relatively okay. quickly. Yeah, um, having the bigger block. But also if you've got fabric you really want to show off. Yes. Then if you make a 12 inch block then your strips, it's, I mean a curvy one is lovely but some of your strips are like very, very three quarters of an inch wide or something like that. Yeah. Whereas this one it shows off all the fabric. It does it? yeah and you can have something fussy cut in the centre yes. and then different um, prints if you wanted to. Um, and I love this ruler because it's got that grip on it that all the creative grids rulers have so that's um, built into the ruler. And it just means that it looks perfect and you'll see when I'm putting it together you don't have to be perfect you know, when you're sewing it, you don't have to cut your strips all the same length. No, no, exactly. You don't have to do so, the precision at the beginning. No, so it, if, this cuts away. You know, if you don't love cutting, you can just, you know, it's not precision rotary cutting yes. that you need to do. Yeah. Um, and you can use different width strips and then trim it down. But you must have to make tool. sure that your strips are at least a certain size. At least a certain size. So I think they recommend, I think it's two inches is the finished um 
two inches is the smallest that it can be. So you but could they use... recommend you do like two and a quarter, so you've got a bit to trim. But that also means if you've got lots of jelly roll, jelly, or design perfect roll for jelly pieces roll. left over, yeah. then you could just use all of those. If you've done a project, you think, well, I'll do them in a log cabin. Absolutely. You don't have to then sit there cutting a little bit off the actual log cabin, nope. off the actual design roll. You can cut it off when you've done and it. And I also, I save all my, I cut my binding strips for quilts at two and a half inches. Right. And I always um, have a bit extra left over and I save them all uh, on, a, on a ribbon roll. Um, so I've got all these little bits of leftover binding and it would be great for that as well. So you've got them all on a ribbon roll. What happens if you think, yes. oh, I want that one in the middle? Well, I, sometimes I use the binding for the middle, but I have to unravel it. Yeah. All and then just sew them together before you put them on the ribbon roll and just literally wrap them No, I'm not that organised. <laughs> okay, then. All right, then. That's so, yes. Yeah. So where do we start? Okay, so the first thing that we do is um, cut the square for the centre. So um, like you said, you've got a, a contrasting fabric that you can use for the centre parts yes. of your log cabin. Um, so I'm going with this bundle, so I'm using the orange. So you don't use this. Now, it, this is the one, the central one is the one you have to be precise with, isn't it? Yes, this is the one that you have to cut out precisely. Yes. Um, it's the only bit that you do yes. um, need to be careful with. So we just want a three and a half inch square okay, for the centre. Okay, now, these measurements that you're cutting now, is this from a pattern? Is it from a... The um, measurements for the different sizes of the blocks are in the leaflet. Right. So if you're doing a 12 inch one, you need a three and a half inch square in the center. And for the six So it's just half, on, on the, sure. the, the it's there's it. no loose seat, there's no loose seat. No, 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 there's no specifics for me. Right. I have um, written up the pattern for the quilt that tells you which, how many of each block you need to for make for this quilt. For that one. Oh, okay, yeah. Where, where's that gonna be then? I think it's on the website, oh, it's or the it website. will be going on the okay. website if it's not on there already. Perfect. So the size of that square that you've cut is three and a half inches. That's the cutting That's size. That's the cutting not the... size. Right. Yeah. So um, I've just cut a couple of those, yeah. and then you just need strips um, of of fabric. So I cut these more than one at a time yes. because I'm used to. Um, I do a lot of cutting. Yes. Now, if you've got lots of strips to cut, we've got yes. a 60 cent, uh, not 60 cent, 60 millimeter rotary cutter. Yeah. Now, none of you ladies, um, quilting experts, choose that one to use. When That's would you true. use a 60 millimeter one? If you've, if you, because for this, you're going to be cutting lots and lots of strips out, yes. aren't you? Would you go up a size to the 60 millimeter one? You don't need to, the 45 is the standard, but yes, you could use um, a 60. If you're cutting through lots of fabric, it, it's a good idea um, and worth having. I did use the 60 when I worked in a quilt shop. We always used the 60 because we're cutting so much fabric. So yeah, if it was something that you were gonna be doing. Yes. And if you're comfortable layering up the fabrics up, as well, because you've got a bigger the blade. Bigger, you're gonna get across quicker, surely. Yes. Is that a fallacy? Because it's just as fast it's as you push it, isn't this, it? Yeah, probably. Uh, just so you know, this ruler is also a Creative Grids ruler, and the graphics coming in now. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That, the I don't want you to get confused between this and your square ruler. So at the moment, we just put yeah. the graphics in of this one that Lucy uses. It's one that we use every designer uses every I single time. I literally probably use this ruler every single time I'm making anything, yes. to be honest. Exactly. It's a so, great size. Right. So you're going to cut the strips. Now you could, I'm probably, I'll just do this two and a half. I've cut them all at varying sizes, um, but for the, for the pattern and they recommend the, the minimum really should be um, two and a quarter, just so you've got something to trim. Yes. You can do it at two, but you need to be sure that your seam's accurate and yes. you know, so, everything's but, accurate. But that's but, the joy of this ruler. Is if, like we're saying, if you've got design, you don't want to take a, a design roll and have to start cutting a quarter of an inch off the edge, no. do you? No, I mean, I literally could just cut strips, you know, yeah. with the scissors mm. because we're going to be trimming off the edge yeah. um, anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. But I'll just go ahead and cut those. Oh, um, uh, Hannah said, um, she, oh, I finished, the blocks were supposed to be in two days, three days ago. <laughs> And she said, Anna said, oh, yeah, finish my, finish my. She just said, oh, John, remind me to take my ruler home with me tonight. <laughs> she's saying now, oh, it's because she's bought one and she's just taken it home. Yeah, 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 we believe you, Hannah. 
so that's that one. This is beautiful, this one that you showed. I really, really like that. Is it ink? What that. colour was that one? Yeah. Indigo. indigo. Is it indigo, that one? Yes, indigo. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Um, so, and we did, um, when we were putting the bundles together, we put some of those linears in just to give it that little bit of the, oh, yes, the yeah, bit of texture, texture look yes, to yeah. it rather, rather it than it just being yes, the plain yeah. um, solids, which I think is nice. So once you've got your strips, the first, you want to decide, so we've kind of set it up so you've got the two sides to your log cabin. So the you know, we've got like the yellows and, and the, the greys. Yeah. So you, you can split them up like that and it goes from light to dark. So would you never, would you never, just going back here, would you yes. never do a mustard, a grey and a yellow and then a grey, a mustard and a grey? You can do what you oh, like. You can do what you like. Yeah. But it's a traditional log cabin. Like, and as you say, you've gone light, medium dark but here you've gone dark medium light doesn't matter yeah it doesn't matter no and you can i mean traditionally it's two colors so you might have you know like, ranges of two colors yes yes or no just two oh, just two colors it could just be two colors like so red it and might yellow be red and yellow yeah and it could be all different prints it's just that you'd have the two colors on either side i just like an ombre of course so i do she likes <laughs> so an, ombre. I did an ombre um, um but you don't have to and of course you know i've i've done the pattern and it's got the uh, how much fabric you'll use for each block and all that. So that's the modern mustard there, the, what, that one up there. And then the one you're using is the nautical. Yes. I don't have a... a, a... Uh, good morning, John Lucy. I'm going to read this one. I'm so sorry because it hasn't come through to the thing. Still a stunning quilt, Lucy. Love the colours. Oh, the bright yellow is crying out for some embroidery work. <gasps> oh, yes, that would be beautiful. Or Art Deco heavy black lines. Oh, who's that I one like from? that. Lisa. <gasps> Thanks, Lisa. Greater Manchester. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. Although you, yeah, you're, like quite local. That. you're near Greater Manchester, aren't you? I, I'm in Greater oh, Manchester. Oh, are you? She's in yeah. Greater Manchester. I am. Uh, no, not right now. We're in Birmingham right now. You've been on a train this <laughs> I've been morning. On a train I know this you slept morning. in your pajamas through most of it. I'm just going to reset my screen. <laughs> well, it's true, isn't it? Don't ring Lucy before the show because oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not asleep. I dread falling asleep on the train. In fact, on the way back home last time, I did fall because I did. Um, Does it? It's not I think the I end did stop. Four hours in a row, didn't I? Here. Yes, yeah. And I, and I fell asleep on the train, but I literally woke up and there was the sign for where I get off the train. I couldn't believe it, so I just had to dash oh, off. Oh no! So quickly. yours isn't the. I, I don't it's mind not, falling asleep. I can if it's get the last to. One. I can go to the last one, but I tend to go. Off also, the where's your rose quartz ring? I love that rose oh, quartz ring. Oh, I, I, well, I put a mental note to myself to remember it and completely forgot. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. Anyway, next. Time. Let's go on with some sewing. Yes. So, um, for the first one that you're adding, I tend to cut it to the same size, but yeah. you don't sort of have to, um, but I do because it, it just makes putting the next bit on um, easier. Yes. So, again, that's three and a half, but the width doesn't matter because we'll trim that trim one with, with, the room, with, yeah. the, with the square. So, um, we've got our centre square and our first piece, and we're going to put them right sides together, although it's solids, so this doesn't matter. And then I'm using a quarter inch um, seam. You've got oh, your quarter inch foot on. I've got the quarter inch foot on, and I will say, I've found that you get a more precise um, measurement with that ruler if you use a slightly scant quarter of an inch. Okay. So um, I would recommend rather than um, butting the fabric right up to the your quarter, inch. quarter of an inch, you just go slightly to the left, so it's just a slightly smaller seam. It make, just makes trimming it up that bit easier. And everything will go in alignment the right. way it should if you do that. So, I like to do a back stitch at the beginning and end. Oh, okay. And you don't need to because I know we are sewing across, but I have had, you know, because you're moving it so much and you're adding pieces and turning it round, I just find that it keeps those seams neat. We don't need to press yet. We'll just finger press. Um, they actually say you can do one round and then press oh, okay. before you trim. So you can just give it a finger press. Right. You can press if you like. And which way have you pressed your seam? Does it matter? Um, I press them out. So coming out from the From the little, little central scissors. one out to the other one. Yes, um, coming out. I mean, I wouldn't worry... You know, you can do it the other way if you want to, but then you've got a seam overlapping there. Yes. So 
I know we're going to the light side, which isn't the general rule, no. but... But you might not be going to the oh, light well. side on some of them, won't you? Yeah, might not. So then when you come to add your next one, you don't need to be precise about cutting because it's going to be trimmed off. Right. So I just tend to use scissors because it's... Never seen you use quick scissors Quick and easy, before. I know. But for this, you know, you don't need to Because you're not doing the precision that you need. Because as you can see you, here... You're going to trim it off. You're going to trim yeah, it off yeah, anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. So then I'm going to sew the next part going round. And um, I like to sew from that side so I can see that seam underneath. Right. And again, a scant quarter inch seam allowance. Yes, just slightly. So you go backwards and forwards on every single... I, I do. I mean, I think it's personal preference. You don't have to. But I have, as I'm sewing blocks, come back to one and seen that the seam has just started to come undone. Yeah. And it just seems a bit of a okay. waste. So again, you finger pressed it, but with the seam going away from the central going square. Going away from yeah. the central square. And then I'm going to add my next piece. So shall I go light to dark? It's up On to you. It's your design. All right, I just will. For fun. I might trim that end off with a rotary cutter, just where I've got the um. So why, why are you using a rotary cutter? Oh, you're getting rid of salvage, right? Well, yeah, and because I'd like the edge that I'm matching up to be... Oh, oh, I see. So you would never do, you'd never yeah. do that then. Well, I mean, you could, well, you can, but you can do, do, but then you'd need to trim it before you add your next yes, strip. Yeah, no, exactly. Really. Okay. So Good little tip there. So the nice thing article is the one that Lucy's using, the bundle with the blues and the oranges in it, and then the modern mustard quilting bundle is the one on the wall behind us. We will get to using the. You get to use the ruler once you've done a round of of the, the, you do one round and then you do one round and then use the ruler. And it does come together really quickly, you know, once you get going. And if you wanted to measure these strips, you could do. Yes. Um, but, why, what, but you don't need to because... Well, you're going to trim bits off anyway, exactly. so... So you always sew with your seams to the top then? Yeah, I do, just because otherwise you f I find they... They well, I'll tell you what, because I didn't on my Did you not? Did kaleidoscope log cabin, and I've got a couple that I've caught over, yeah. which really I should unpick and redo, but I got mine in for the finish date. So. I mean, you're not sewing it to another block or quilting it, so it doesn't yes, really... Yes, it is. But you're not doing it. No, I mean, I'm not, no. no so. <laughs> oh, well. OK. <laughs> um, but that's when you find you have the problems, really, and it's when, you, when you're coming to quilt it... Especially, I do a lot of hand quilting, and if I've got a lot of, you know, it just adds more yes, bulk. Yes, yeah, exactly. So if you can avoid it, right. So that can have a press now. Right. So you can see all of these edges are wrong, you know. Yes, not wrong, but they're all <laughs> not a, wrong. askew. Yes, oh, they're if you all want, askew. While pressing, can you just see that? You see, look, cause not th this here. Normally, you'd be if you you'd be precise. You'd be precise. You'd be precise. But you don't need to be with this uh, log cabin trim tool. No. So that, and you can see how all the seams there on the back are going um, away from the away square. from the centre. Yeah. So this is the fun bit. Well, so it's fun. Right now, this is where you need to. This is where you need to watch now, because this is brilliant. This. Uh, I call it a ruler, but it's a trim tool, isn't it? It's a trim tool. So now what you do is line up. It has all different measurements. It's all explained in the um, leaflet, leaflet that comes with, with it, yeah. the ruler. And there is um, a video on YouTube as well. Right. Um, and it explains uh, what all the markings um, refer to. But you can see here, we're going to be using these squares. Yeah. Um, to line up for the um, log cabin. Yeah. So it's this one, this white one, and then yes. that's the final one. So On the other ruler, it says 
first round, second round, third round. And I, I know on a, 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 on a curvy log cabin, you have thin and you have fat, whereas we've just all got all the same, haven't we? Yes. But it does say, so do you just need to know that you've got three squares that you followed. That's one, then in a minute you'll see that one, and then that one. Yeah. And it's, um, it becomes obvious because if I moved it, I, yes. It, you know, so you can't really get the square wrong because depending on how many rounds you've mm. done, you've seen. Rounds, that's um, what I was looking for. Yeah, then you, you know which square it is that you need to use. Whoops. So once you've got that in position, you can also check your um, seam lines of the piece that you've yeah. um, already sewn. It's really only these, these ones that you need to worry about, you know, where you're trimming it yes. off. Um, so you've got the grips there in the center and you've got the grip all around the edge. So you just want to press that down and then you can go ahead and trim. Let me just turn it round. You can already see how neat that looks on that one side. And then it's precision. Do you know what I mean? It, I just love it. But also, but also, you could <laughs> so be neat. the. Well, you are one of the neatest uh, quilting ladies I know. But do you know what I mean? It's kind of like even to get it that neat yes. with your precision cutting anyway yes. is almost impossible, isn't it? But that yeah. just and and I think it's also coming from a dressmaking point of view is you keep everything neat as you're going along. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like you've done your first round and it's immaculate. Then you're going to use second round and it's actually rather than doing one round, two round, three round, and then think, oh, it, it, yeah, that bit was a bit off yeah, for. Yeah. And, you know, I sew every single day. I'm always sewing and quilting and I'm very, very used to using the rulers. But yes. If I was doing this with a regular ruler, which would have been the way, I, you know, I would have done it without this. Yes. You're having to measure, you know, you've got to measure this side, yeah, measure yeah. this side. It's just you know it's doable but it's more time consuming yes. so and that's the difference between a ruler and the cutting tool yes so the ruler you can still do with the ruler yes you still do yes. a ruler but that, like you said you have to spend time going right this one's got to be three and a half inches so you measure three and a half inches yeah and checking each of your sides it, and, it, and knowing which is your finished size and your unfinished size exactly and but this tool does all that for you really it's just done you don't, you're not having to you know all your lining up um, when you're trimming is that center square so that's yep. it you've just got to go like that you don't you're not checking anything else you're just checking that you can you know make sure your seams are in the right place and then you're trimming it and that and that's it so you just will keep building it yes. up and I'll show you how to do okay, uh, the next one so um we've done that round so we come to the next one and at this point then um it's not giving you measurements you know, so the first one, we knew it was three and a half because yes. the square was three and a half. But from now on, we're not working with measurements. We're just trimming it exactly. as we go along. Exactly. So you can, if you wanted to, you know, you could just do it from a whole strip. And if you're making more than one block, a little tip, if, you, if you're cutting from the, like, you know, a, a metre or a half metre, yeah. whatever, um, you can do them in stages at the same time and chain piece. So if this was my next block, I just would keep sewing each. Right, just say that, okay, just say that again. Just say that again. Only, only, I mean, I'm yep. sure your quilting experts will understand what you just yep. said. I didn't understand it. Okay, so. so say I've got another one of these. Pretend yes. this is another, the same, yes. at so, the so same done, stage. So, so if you're making that, you've got mm -hmm. six of those yes, all made all up. Yes, all at that yes, same yeah. stage. For each stage, you can do this. So I'm going to add my next bit on so i'd add that on there so right keep sewing oh yes yes, yes. I've got, I've got, yeah. so so basically you're saying rather than making one 12 inch block at a time yes. do all the centers yes. then do all round one trim. we do each so i would do this bit in a continuous line yes. add this bit continuously add this bit continuously and just cut and trim in between oh, wow. each one. So that makes it much quicker yes. than doing each one individually. But, uh, as a beginner, I think that might, because you have yeah. to keep remembering which side and which side and which yeah. side, don't you? Yes, but, but once anyway, you're brilliant. comfortable, you know, yeah. once you've made one or two, if you're making, you know, eight of them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And Lorraine said, uh, hello, Lucy, just nipped out. What was the size <laughs> of the first square and the strips, please? Hi, Lorraine. Uh, so the square is for the 12 
inch finished block, the center square needs to be cut at three and a half inches. Cut at three and a half. And all of your strips need to be at least two and a quarter inches wide. Yeah, all the instructions, Lorraine, will be going on the website later. And all the measurements are with the... With the ruler. Um, when with you the get ruler. The, with the tri no, hang on, I'll call it a trim tool rather than a ruler. Yeah. Sorry, yes, trim tool. Yeah, it's not a ruler because there's no measurements on it. Right, now, the, 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 for the colours that you see, Lucy's using, it, that's the bundle here, the nicely nautical. It's got the blues and the and the orange in there. This one here is the must. This one here is mustard. Must you'll see it in a second. And there's another one as well. There's another one. But anyway, sorry, Lucy. So it it becomes a little bit different now in that um, we will want to trim each piece as we're sewing. Um, so I'll do a couple just to yes, to yeah. show you. Um, but I would always sew your piece on and then trim where you need to. I wouldn't try and get these perfectly aligned before you've um, sewn them. So right. I'll just sew this one and then I'll show you what I mean. But you're still matching the first end. You don't want it... Yes, no, I'm going to match the, match the first end. Yes, exactly. Uh, I'll take you through the three bundles. So we'll get Lucy to this round and then I'll take you round to sew the... the, the Ooh. Oh, 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 it nearly went. Right, uh, this ruler, while, while Lucy said this trim tool, you could make a six inch and a 12 inch finished block from. That's right, isn't it? Yes. You can't see it. Well, I was only going to show you because I've also got this one, which is an eight inch, which just does the eight inch. So if you just want an eight inch block, then this one does the eight inch block. This one that Lucy's using does both a finished six and the finish 12. So this is the um, eight inch one going across the bottom there, 22 pounds and 95 pence. This one here is the one Lucy's using, that six and 12, 24.95. Just so you know, the six and the 12. Right, if everyone checks out their baskets, more than half the stock's gone already. Thank you, for the six and 12. Six, well, the eight, the eight, it's because we're, this always happens. What we need is when you come back next time, we need to do the eight inch one, because it's always the one that we're using is the most popular. Well, yeah, you get the six as well, you get two, the equivalent of two rulers out of that for two pounds more. Should I have said that? No. <laughs> it's true, that's true. But then, but then some people, like our quilt, as in, we have, our blocks had to be eight inch finished. Block. So you might have a project that you just want to age it, and I think it'd be worth it for a project to save the time and everything. And then you've also got it in your, hanging on your wall or wherever you keep your rulers, haven't you? Right, what's yeah, you doing? hanging up. I'm just trimming the cell okay. edge off this one. So? So I'm just keep, I'm just keep on going so, right. Do you know yes. what I mean? It doesn't have to be any width at all. You no. Could do, I mean, you wouldn't, but I'm just saying with the no, trim tool, but, it makes it that easy that you could have any size. A bit like... You know when you do that thing when you throw foundation? Yes. A piece of fabric can be Anything. any size, can't yeah. it? Because you cut it off afterwards. Well, this is sort yeah. of, as long as it's a minimum of two and a quarter, yes. you're fine, aren't you? Yes. So it could be that you've got a scrap in your drawer that's like three and a half inches wide. You can think, well, I'll put that on and trim it off yeah. afterwards. Yeah. It just saves a bit of time because you're not having to be so precise. Yes. You know, cutting everything out. So you can see now, as I'm coming round to here yes i've got that extra yes. bit there so i need, you need to, to trim that, trim off. that off so but it's I only that, that one then it's only that one so you can if you prefer you could press that and then trim it but because it's going into the seam allowance and i know it's going to be you know straight yeah. i just you know it's going to be what straight All so right. i just can cut it off and you could do that with scissors yeah. as well if you feel more comfortable doing it that way um, so just keep building it up. It's a dramatic block, isn't it? It comes together quite quickly because yes. my blocks seem to take, because I had diagonals and I had, you know, kind of all sorts going on with it. It just, I, I didn't feel like it came together until the last few were sewn together. Mm -hmm. In fact, before I trimmed it, I was thinking, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. It was only when mm -hmm. I finally trimmed it that I thought, oh, actually, it's quite nice now. That's, it. That's often the case with yes. quilting, I think. That and that also happens. the thing I found... It's having a decent machine makes it so much easier, oh, doesn't so it? so much easier. I use, this, I use this one. Yeah. Yeah, Hannah used her 30-year-old okay. machine at home. Well, she will be using a 30-year-old machine tonight when she's <laughs> running her block up. Oh, oh, sorry. Her block is being hand-stitched. It's when she made oh. a kimono that she fell out with the sewing machine. Oh, dear. 
I like how adventurous Hannah is with her sewing now. Have you seen Hayley's? No, I've not seen oh, Hayley's. Oh, uh, watch the next hour. You'll see Hayley's block in the next hour because okay. I'm using it as a sample. Oh, watch out yes. for that. So I'm going to press... For the light box! <laughs> I need to ask you that in a minute. but Yes, um, I'm right, going to give okay. that a press oh, okay. first of all and then I can trim. Uh, don't worry, Th uh, that's very light. Ooh. This is like on EastEnders, it really gets on my nerve. And Coronation Street, they do it. When they buy a takeaway coffee in the cafe, there's never anything in the paper cup. There's nothing in the paper cup. They pick the paper cup and you think, Ugh! and I also hate this when they go, oh, here, Lucy, I've made your cup of tea in a mug, right? And they put the mug down like that and then the actress just goes, yeah, yeah, like that. And you think, it's boiling hot. What do you do? Pick it. Sorry, that's just a little, I don't know what got me onto that then. <laughs> oh, no, because this box was light. It's not oh, in right. there. It's not in there. That's why the box is light. There was a reason. I know. I get, oof. We've got, oh, a, we've got a visiting fly a... again. There we go. So you definitely um, want to press before you trim. At each round, trim. yes. Yeah, because you could go awry if you didn't. Would that be the rain? Is that rain? <gasps> oh, my dressing room will be a swimming oh, pool when we come in. Up, right, now, down. come on, this is important. Where do we line up now? Because in the last one, we lined up yeah. there. That square there. Yes, that square there. So this time, there's another square. It's white. Right. So it's black, white, Black. Black. Right, okay. Yeah. I mean, you really, you know, obviously I'm not going to do it no, there. I mean, you could play around with it and get some very different. <laughs> yes, but you're going to end up with every block being you know, different, aren't different you? Different yes. things, yeah. Um, but it's that one there. And then you may need, can you see? Yeah. I just need to pull that out. That Manipulate. might be my pressing. Yeah just ever so slightly to get that line. But you, up. this is where you can see, this is why you don't want it to be two, two and a quarter inch because you'd have nothing to play with, would you, basically? If it, I think if it's two, you have nothing. I oh, think right. that is two and a that, quarter. Oh, right, okay. I think I did cut that one at two and a quarter. Oh, okay, so if it was two, you'd have, no, oh, because it, yes, of course. So if you, because yeah. what are these strips, how wide do those strips finish then on, on yours? So That's at an inch and three quarters. One and a half. Oh, one and a half. So yeah, there. so that means yeah. you've got your seam allowance there. So if you had it cut it at two, you really... So if you'd made any mistake, it would go into your seam allowance. You'd cut away from your seam allowance. Yes, yeah. yeah. So then when you're cutting these rounds, it's this line that you want to yes. be checking that seam, and then you can go ahead and trim. Right, the, the trim tool that Lucy's using now, if every, once everybody's checked out the basket, there's what, how many? There's less than ten. They've gone that quickly. There's le that's out of the 6 and the 12 inch. I've got plenty of the 8 inch one, but the 6 and 12 inch one, which is all in one here, if you just tuned in, you can do a 6 and a 12 inch one on this ruler, which I think is brilliant, really. That's what I would get. You've got six, there are six different blocks you can make with this yes. one trim yes. tool. Exactly. So that's fantastic. And the other advantage that I hadn't yet mentioned was if you put two of the six, you know, you can make four of the sixes will end up the same as the 12. Yes. So you could have, you know, F oh, four, yes, four smaller ones yes. and a bigger one, four smaller ones and oh, a bigger one. Oh, now you're getting complicated. So, yeah. No, but then there's so many design possibilities and the way you put the colours together and everything and then the blocks together, you can make all different things. But it's quite nice. You can have the smaller mm. version will fit in with yeah, the, with the big with one. The big yeah, one. Exactly. Yes, because yeah. the 8-inch, you couldn't mix the 8-inch no. with this one because it's never, unless you're going to tessellate them. You could put them. a border on it or yes, something yeah, exactly. if you wanted to. Well, that's what we're going to have to do with Jay's block because Jay's block's too small. Oh, is it's it? Not too, and so is um, uh, someone else's. Is it Laura's? Some, no, it wasn't Laura's. Somebody's You're shaming block. everybody. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I just said it's easy. Can we, just, we could just yeah. put a... Um, it wasn't Laura's at all. It was... Um, I can't remember. You can now just add board. I was putting it in the office, sitting there. <laughs> if anything is too small, you can just add a board. Exactly. It's very easy exactly. to do. So that's with the second round. Okay. On. So now before we go on to the next round, I'll show you this one. We're going to go and look at the, the bundles. But that, I, there's, it's just uh, taking shapes. Right? That's, yeah. got, that's saying RAF to me, because my dad, oh, remember yeah. the RAF circles? My, my dad, granddad was in the RAF yeah. as well, oh. yeah. They get, right, it you does. stay there, don't do anything. Okay. Have, a, have a little rest while I just go through the bundles over here. Right, let me just tidy them up. The mustard one, which is the one on the wall across there, I think, that, I think we've got a family of flies coming in from the rain, just buzzing around. 
You get a meter of each fabric, you get seven meters of fabric here. And as Lucy said, they've included some uh, linear textures in there as well, just to give it that extra, extra uh, depth. So you get a meter of all of those, the purple, the lemon, the ochre, the sulfur, the, uh, I want to say mercury, but it's not mercury, it's um, glacier, zinc, and that's it. Beautiful, aren't they? So that one there is the modern mustard quilting fabric, seven meters, 51 pounds and 45 pence. Uh, you're loving that one. You're loving that one. I'll just fold that one over while I go to. This is the one we haven't really seen very much. And I feel a bit sad because I love this one. I'm just going to splay it a little bit more. Um, Hannah's thinking Chinese blossom. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, Beverly was thinking REF2 as well. What are you doing? Oh, just a bit behind it. Uh, well, I don't, want to, don't want you to miss anything, you see. I don't want to go and look at this. This is beautiful. The colours in there are exquisite, aren't they? Seven metres of fabric. All those... The thing is, right, if you're not going to make this... You, you know, you've got another... Uh, look, if you just want, just want to make a very, very... Or anything with just the pinks, it's gorgeous. And then you just add... Because as Lucy says, you have to have a colour for your eye to rest on. That would be lovely hexagon. Oh, excuse me, she's interrupting. What's then? Hexagon flowers and have the yellow in the centre and all those berry colours for the top. There you go. Now, I said that in the last hour. So she said, well, we didn't hear her because the microphone. Hexagon, if you're making he little hex, she loves her hexes, make hexagon flowers. This is the centre of the flower and these are all the petals going around the outside. It's a lot of fabric for little hexes. There'd have to be hexes like this. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. we did a handbag this week. We did a handbag this week. Jane Olcock made a little hexy, and the hexes were like that big. All hand stitched, and her finger was all. And she made two. Right, moving on. Then this is lovely. This is the one Lucy's using. This is the one Lucy's using. This is called the Nicely Nautical. But I, now we're putting it together, it's definitely saying RAF to me. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely if you've got somebody, uh, like an older member of your family used to be in the RAF and you're making them a lovely quilt, a lap quilt. Oh, that'd be lovely. My dad would have loved that because we lived, everything was RAF in our house. There were not real aeroplanes, but there were aeroplanes everywhere in the house. Um, no, no, we, we lived in a hangar for a while. When I was born, we lived, in, not in a hangar, but in a corrugated iron hut next to the hangar. And... And I was a child, I was there till I was about four, and I remember, I used to get, because it was just corrugated iron, right? It used to get so cold, the toilet would freeze over, and the windows in the winter would have, you know when, oh, you won't remember this, ice, when you do ice, that, it, it makes shapes like ferns, right? And on the inside of the window, you have to scratch, you could scratch the ice off like that. There you go. That's what it was like in the, in the 80s. <laughs> 51 pounds and 45 pence. Gorgeous colours, stunning colours. Let's get back to Lucy. Let's do the next round. That's the quilt we're making there. Right. You're funny. What I think would be, is really nice about this bundle as well, because we've put that different colour in. If you were to make the pattern, you'd have that, or, you know, that the orange lovely orange side, would yes. really yeah. um, show up. I've only used it in the centre of the log cabins, but those nice brights that yes. we've put in yes, there would look lovely. Yeah, in the log cabin, you're only getting. If you just did the log cabin pattern, you're only going to get the orange as little dots every now and then, aren't you? Whereas if you put the courthouse steps down the side, well done. then the orange is going to be really prevalent yes. there, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you don't have to do the pattern. You can arrange you make them however you, and finish this in however you like. I'm, I'm just going to do this one. Yes, um, so all, all I've done there is just trim um, the darker one yes. to put on on that side so we're just always working around, around the you block. either have to go if you start off clockwise you have to carry on clockwise if you start off anti-clockwise you ha always have to go anti-clockwise one thing i will say about the linear print is that's exactly what it is it's a print on top of the fabric so don't cut your lines to the lines in the print because they're wiggly woggly all over the place aren't they no. so oh, you'd have a really hard yes. time doing so it. it's not it's not it's like the gingham has one got, um... Oh, no, gingham's in the next side, isn't it? We've got gingham fabric when you do your dress yes. code. It's the same with the gingham. It's a print on the fabric, so don't cut your lines with the gingham. Always cut your lines with the grain of the fabric. And actually, it's, it's often true with 
with all you know all different fabric prints that it's it's rare and difficult that it's printed exactly yes, along exactly. the along the selvage. I mean, unless it's a stripe, a bold stripe. Or something. Um, I'm just going to put this. Will that help? I'll put it behind it. There are only how left six? Oh wait, there's eight left of the six and twelve inch ruler. Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Sorry, Lucy. That's all right. Um, for me, because I love you know I love traditional um, quilt blocks. It's just my favourite oh, kind of. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, okay. Lucy. I've just got to say, oh, like that down my ear. There's only <laughs> two of these left. Oh, right. People are going to miss out. Take the graphics out. Take the graphics out because there's two left and ten people have got it in their baskets. Eight of you at this moment in time are going to be disappointed. Mm. The eight inch one has got stock, you want the eight inch one. Same principle, same principle, same principle, but just eight inches, eight inch block. I also, what I did do while you were over there is measured it with the two rounds on, and right. that's nine and a half. Oh, okay. So if you didn't want to do a complete log cabin and just have it be, you know, without yes. that, at that size, just the cream and the blue, that's yeah. nine and a so half. So you could do six, finish, nine and so. a half. Oh, there must be a smaller one then so as well. Nine. The yeah, so you could, you know, you can make things just with that So it would be, be nine finished. It would be nine. nine finished. So you can actually make six, nine and twelve, and you must be able to do three. Yeah. I presume. Or different, yeah, yes, yeah. different ones. And the, obviously the width with the six um, inch finish block, the width of your strips is narrower. Yes, oh, of course. So. Yeah. Uh, Gerardine says, morning, Lucy and John. I bought this ruler ages ago, but I've been so scared to use it. Lucy, you make, ev you make everything so simple for us. Lots of love, Gerardine. Oh, thank you, Gerardine. It's not me, it's Creative Grids, but, yeah, but thank one, you. Yeah, but you're the one using it. That's what she's saying. She's, yes. You, you explain yeah. it well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but it is really, it She's genuinely, clever, yeah, She's it genuinely is really easy yes. to use. It's it so, is, so but, simple. But if you haven't seen it actually in action, yeah. if you were to get that ruler... And just getting and go, that, you would, yeah. This is a 12-inch log cabin, yeah. how? But yes. you're making it so yeah. easy by explaining that... Because it's... Do you know what? Um, uh, Rachel Ruler's so clever, isn't she? Because Very clever. That's just the, the simplest of ideas, and yet it saves time, it saves stress, and everything like yeah. that, doesn't it? Um, we'll get more in. We will get more in, I promise. And that, but it's, it's the possibilities with it as well. You know, the fact that there are so many combinations and... and you know, different looks that you can get with it with just those three blocks. I mean, I've only used two in that. I didn't even do the... Yes. Get around to putting the third one in. You know, but you could add another border with yes. the half... Um, half log cabins in it, if you wanted to. So, where are we up to? OK, so now it's the darker blue. So, again, I'll just trim the selvage off there. And I can just, I mean, I'm just Got using, room, no, no, I can just use, I know that's a straight line, oh, yes, so yes, I can yes. just use the edge of that to just trim the selvage off there. And then again. So I'm trimming as I go, but like I said before, you could, yes. you know, do it in, in stages. Are you able, if I ask you a question about something yes. completely different? Yeah. The light box that I've got coming up in the next yeah. hour. We're all so excited. You walked in, you went, oh, I've got that, I've got yes. that. What do you use yours for? I love the light box. Um, I do a lot of hand sewing um, and um, embroidery, although not as much as I would like. Yeah. But it's um, a brilliant, brilliant tool for um, tracing embroidery patterns, um, for tracing templates, any templates that you need to use, um, you know, be it for for quilting, hand quilting, um, English paper piecing, wh whatever it is you're doing, it just makes it really, really easy to see. Yeah. And I even I've even I've used it in the daytime. It's not just something that I use at night. Yeah. You know when I can't use a window, grey and blustery yes, Manchester. When, when Mandy Shaw's in, she goes, oh, you get this, and you push it up against your window like that. Yes. And I'm like, why must it be dark outside? You know yes. Because lots of people do so in the evenings, don't yeah. they, in the winter evenings? A lot of times. And also things like I like, um, sometimes I like to do things on patterned fabric. So um, with embroidery patterns, I don't always want it on a plain background. I might want it on a patterned fabric. Mm. And even holding it up on the window, especially when it's, if it's a grey day, it's difficult to see. But the light, because you've got that LED light, which is lovely and, and bright, mm -hmm. you can even see it through patterned 
fabrics. I'll show, you, I'll show you this in the, in the next hour. Or in the next, that's the first thing in the next hour. So you'll see this in about 10 minutes' time. Um, just one other question about that. Yes. <clears throat> Would you ever use it to sew on, or do you always need the light to be coming from the top for your sewing? I just suddenly thought, because it's that beautiful and it doesn't get hot, whether you no, could actually true. use it. You could, yes, you could. I mean, I have a daylight um, L lamp. lamp. Yeah. Um, because it's a different kind of a, a light. Yes. That would be my only yeah, okay. um, it was actually a question, thing I suddenly... for that. But you, I mean, it is it is very bright. And in the dark, it's obviously, well, it looks ours, even brighter. I wasn't going to tell you this until the next hour, but ours, if you put, press the button once, you get a soft light, and then if you put your finger oh. on the button, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. See, I don't have no. quite well, as maybe nice you a should, one. Maybe you should you know, there, tune yeah. in the next hour. Yeah. Oh, Christine, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. Hi, John and Lucy, can you tell me how many blocks bundle, the blundle will make and the finished size? So, with your seven metres, you were sent this. Yes. Seven metres. Yes. How big's that? Well, it'll be 12. So, I think it's 24, 48, 48 by 48 there. By 48, which is a nice lap size yes. quilt. Um, if you want to make it bigger, you can do. Can I lift up? Yeah, the... you can. I oh, okay. well, now my shirt's come all intact to do a podcast. <laughs> So I used oh, four of the, so the fabrics that I'd not used as many of in the block, I had enough left to piece the back. So there's four, piece, four different fabrics on the back, which I just pieced together very, very simply. Yes. And as I was um, uh, basting it, I used the seam lines to line it up so that the backing is... So centered, it, that came so out of the seven metres the, that we sent you? The backing, the binding, the quilt top is all from the seven metres. And did you have much left over or was that it? I had some left over. But not Not, not much. And not enough to do another <clears throat> round of blocks. So, you if could you, so basically from the bundle, you could make an awful lot more than that if you didn't have, want to use our fabric for the backing. Yeah, so you could... You could easily probably do another row but just with that pattern that I designed I used all the purple yes uh, oh you yes could, so you might need to do something else on the other side so it might it. you might have a different color or rearrange them into a different pattern if you wanted to do more with the fabrics you have left over but obviously where I've only used you know the cut the smaller yes. pieces you've got more of that fabric of yes. um left over but what so, you could have done on this side is you could have made your purple step you could use the yes. purple in there. Then you've yeah. got these fabrics to do that bit. So it's well. difficult to say how, m how many blocks you can make because it depends which on one? which colours you put yes. where because yeah. all the strips are different. So OK, you've only got a minute left. Oh, OK, I'm I'll sorry. just quick, quick, quick. Sorry, that was my fault for asking about the light box because we're so excited about it. It is. I, I, I use it a lot and I, I'm using it for things that I probably got, will go home and go, oh, I should have said I yes. use it for that because I forgotten about it well, but it's hour, definitely handy and just and shout say, out yes. <laughs> yes if you've got a light box at home let me know what you use yours for as well uh, oh here you go wendy uses hers for red work it's wonderful mandy's book of templates having she's having a day off today nice watching you live oh thank you wendy my love wendy normally watches later on on um, youtube or catch up oh, or something. Uh, on the repeat on the website yeah Oh, my dad would so love that. Oh. Would have, I should say. My granddad would have too. Right. Oh, look, people are messaging in already about the light box. Beverly's emailed in. Before, before I read this out, we're just lining up the third, third square in the centre now. Get it right. Okay. Yeah. Go. So, although we've been taking our time, obviously, and we've been chatting, this is so much quicker than if I was measuring this yeah. all out. And it's so neat. It looks gorgeously yeah. so neat. And it's and it's really nice that you can do, you know you can do more than you know. If I was doing this at home, I would have made however many more. But you know, I probably would have done four or something doing it in that mm. strip um, method. But just the accuracy is amazing. Yeah. It's just they've so perfectly, you know, thought up this. Oh, gorgeous. This ruler. So there you go. Right. And this, the, it's exactly the same for the courthouse steps. You're just doing it either side. Yes. But the instructions are all on there. And yes. also the half, 
Lock cabin. Half you're half back in, you're back in an hour. I am. Doing a Dresden plate, which we love. Yes. Uh, thank you ever so much. Thanks, Lovely to see you. I've seen you for so long. Right, I've got three bundles very quickly to show you before we go for a break. Uh, light box coming up in an hour, uh, no, in hour's time, in three minutes' time after this. Right, this very, very, very popular is the mustard and grey. It's called modern mustard. 51, but not English, not Dijon, modern. 51 pounds and 45 pence. Cut those greys and yellows together, look gorgeous, don't they? And the purple, and the purple. The one we haven't seen much of, which I'm really sad about, because I absolutely adore this one. Very berry. It's very popular, and considering we haven't even seen it very much, that is fantastic. That's lovely, isn't it? 51 pounds, 45 pence. And last but not least, the one that we've been using now. They've called it nicely nautical, but I really, really think it's like uh, the RAF colours, isn't it? It's just beautiful. That one's called the nicely nautical. And it's 51, but seven metres of fabric, yeah. Right, don't go anywhere. I'll be back here in three minutes' time. I've got all the tools of the trade, and I'll be starting off. It's brand new, only arrived this morning, and we all got very, very, very excited about it. That amazing light box. Let me know what you use yours for. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Tune in on Friday the 11th of August as we welcome designer and artist Anna Maria Horner to the studio. We'll find out all about Anna Maria's work and introduce her floral retrospective collection, brand new to Sewing Quarter. Anna Maria's designs, which include fabric prints, quilts, clothing and fine art, are renowned across the globe. Her fabrics combine vintage and modern elements, which, along with the masterful use of colour, create a timeless, elegant style. Anna Maria's work has influenced a generation of sewers and quilters, not least our very own Lucy Brennan, who will also feature in this unmissable morning of shows. So join us on Friday the 11th of August at 8am and 10am for our Anna Maria Horner special, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. There's a new big shot in town, and on Friday the 4th of August, we want you to join us for the big unveiling. The Sizzix Big Shot Plus Die Cutting Machine will open up a whole world of possibilities for you. It cuts through multiple layers of fabric in one pass, making it the perfect quilter's companion. It's also ideal for soft toy making, adding embellishments to your dressmaking projects and many other crafts with its ability to custom cut and emboss a range of materials. Sizzix Wiz Angie Southie will show us some of the incredible results you can achieve with this versatile tool. So, tune in on Friday the 4th of August at 9am and 11am for our die cutting masterclass only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com Visit our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air.
can't believe we've got this already. We're so, so, so excited about this. Now, I shouldn't really talk about Christmas, but if you're thinking about, if, you're, if your partner, your uh, a friend or anything, uh, wants a new light box for Christmas, then get it now. Get it now. That's the box there. It's the Wafer 2 light box. And it is just amazing. Now, I've seen light boxes around the place. And I've seen the prices of light boxes. I think £99.95 pence is a fantastic price for what you're getting. Well, when you think of a light box, the light box I had was like, when it looked like one of those things you put worms in to live in. It was, you know, deep things like this with light bulbs underneath it, patches where the, you know, well, look. Look at it. It is beautiful. It's like your poshest slimmest tablet, isn't it? It's just fantastic. Let's just talk about the dimensions of it first. Look how, look how, how thin it is. So Lucy was saying she has hers on all the time. She uses it for lots and lots of different things. Please let me know what you use yours for. Look at how slimline, look at how slimline that is. It's, that's obviously why it's called the wafer, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Now it's an A3, that's an A3 illuminated size. It's even got, uh, if you look down the side here, you've even got inches and centimeters. So if you have to measure anything, if you're drawing lines or anything, you've got the measurements down the sides there as well. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now, it just plugs in, let me just show you. It's just got a normal plug, which um, has a, you know what I mean? It's I mean, it's just, I don't know where to start. The whole thing is fantastic. I love it, I love it. Right now, uh, look at the bottom. Let me just turn it round for you. It's got, it looks like a really, really, you know which make I'm think, you're thinking of. Yeah. So slim, but then it's got the little, um, so it's not gonna slip on the tables. Nothing worse than if you're a light box, you're tracing something through and it slips. I don't know why I've got to, I'll just move that. But it, it, it's just, it's just, um, don't be worried about, I mean, mine was just a piece of glass with light bulbs underneath it. Don't be worried about when you're working on it because it's a, a substantial, it's not delicate, it's just a, well, you know, you know technology these days, it's just incredible how they get, I just, I'm just amazed by it. Everything you need to know about, now it's all LED lit, so it's not gonna get hot, it's not gonna get hot. But what I love about it, right, all the lights, are all over it. So like I was saying on mine, when you have normal light bulbs in it, you have pools of light and pools of dark. On this, it's even light all the way around. So you don't need, you don't need to be thinking, oh, well, I need to move over to there because I need a bit more light, or it's, oh, I've got a dark patch there. It's got even light throughout it. Uh, earlier, earlier, have a look at this, right? We took a picture of it in the dark, because obviously we can't turn, look. You see, and it's even got the light sp spillage of light around the side there, which is just, there are all the LED bulbs. Oh, I'm, I'm pointing, but that's not the picture, is it? There are all the LED bulbs around there. It's just incredible. Now, obviously it doesn't need to be dark, but it's just that if you saw how many studio lights I've got here, I wouldn't be able to show you the impact and we can't do the, the dimming down and the, right. Okay, now I need to warn you before we go any further, the whole hour is not this. This is just one piece out of the hour, right? Um, before, uh, I've got a substantial amount, but quite a few people have checked out already. Quite a few people have put them in their basket and checked out straight away. And also, the other thing you've got to remember is it's a bulkier box, right? It's still only £2.95 posted packaging for the whole day. So if you buy this and a bundle of fabric and something else later, it's all £2.95 for posted packaging. Right, now, to switch... Just switch it on. I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to switch it on. Right? I don't know how much of this you'll see. Right? We haven't practiced this. Right? So you press the button here. Oh, hang on. There it goes. Here it comes. What you do is, you, you, the longer you keep your finger on the button, the brighter it gets. Now, that's lit. You can see that. But obviously, because I've got the studio lights on in here. So what I'll do is I'll just put a photocopy of, say, say you were making a block for work, right? For a work quilt and you want to trace the block off, what you do, look at this, put that on there, right? This, this is Haley's block, by the way. So imagine, just for example, this is a photocopy of Haley's block, right? It, imagine if you think, oh, you see those little chicks? I quite like to make those little chicks, right? Now I've got some, I've got um, freezer paper here, but you can use any kind of uh, uh, tracing paper or anything like that. Oh, I haven't got a pen. 
you could just literally, Jay, you can get me pencil, please, mechanical pencil. Uh, you can just draw around where you need your pattern. So if you've got the, imagine if you had, um, in fact, it's on the cover here. Look on the box. I don't know how much of this you're going to see. They've got a painting. It's like a Tissot painting underneath. And they're tracing off. You see, look, to make a pencil drawing of that. So if, imagine if you were going to do embroidery or something like that. You could trace it off this picture. You've got your pattern there or your cross stitch pattern, anything like that. You could just trace it off and use that as your pattern off there. Now, Lucy said as she went off, she went, letters, letters, like this. And I was like, what's she talking about? She, you know when you embroider or cross-stitch letters, like the, and the shape, you don't want to just... You could get a stencil. You know, we've got the... Um, in one of our patterns, we've got all the letters and everything. You could just place those on there. You could just draw around letters that you love. You could draw around shapes that you find are in magazines or on, you know what I mean? It's just a brilliant. So if you're using it for applique, imagine you're doing an applique pattern. You could draw it through. Now, uh, Mandy Shaw also says when she's doing her uh, in uh, foundation piecing, right? She puts it down and then she holds it up like that against the window, right? You don't need to do that anymore. You don't need to do <clears throat> you don't need to do that anymore. You can just pop it down on here and the light is bright, bright, bright. The light is just now you can dim the lights. Uh, we what you do is you can uh, I'll just switch it off. I don't hang on. Oh no, it's getting brighter. It's getting brighter. There you go. Look, I don't know if you can see that. It... No, you can't. Basically, the longer you keep your finger on the on-off button, the brighter it gets. So if you've got a more dense thing that you need to uh, draw around or anything like that then you can do. Right, so look, how easy is this? Oh, have I got the right side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, you do, if you're using freezer paper, look. So this is freezer pa paper that I'm drawing on here. We've sold out of our freezer paper at the moment, but we will be getting it back in. Do you know what I mean? And then even intricate detail, like the little... Say that again. Okay, now you, so that, that's about 75% of the stock, is it? Right, I just need a quick word. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. 75% are either in baskets or completely checked out. So if you want this, please, please, please. I'm not adding any undue pressure, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. Not adding any undue pressure. If you want it, you need to check out your basket. It's as simple as that. I'm going to carry on drawing around, around my little um, chick here. My little birdie chick on. You see, isn't it fantastic? So, I'm doing this on freezer paper. Oops. Not very well, admittedly. Right. So then, you see, I could then cut this out, press it onto my fabric, and there's my stencil. There's my stencil. So it's just brilliant. I mean, there's lots and lots and lots of... Um, if you're doing um, embroidery, if you're doing embroidery patterns, fantastic for embroidery patterns, any, or any kind of craft work. I mean, I'm, we, obviously, we're sewing, we're sewing quarter. But um, uh, when Hannah did her art degree, she did drawings around it. We, our set designers, when I was at college, they used these to um, copy... Um, uh, what are they called? Like, not blue plaque. What are they called? You know... We, Floor plans, that kind of thing. Blueprints, blueprints. They used it all the time to do that. So, it, I mean, it, it, we're obviously veering towards the sewers of you, but any, anything you need this for, it's just fantastic. Have a look at the box here. Uh, you can do what? Oh, yes. Well, it, it's very portable. It's, it's light as a feather. I was going to give you the actual... I'm sure it's got the... Um, di di I'll give you the real dimensions. <clears throat> it's 48 by 36 by 0.8 of a centimetre, which is 19 by 14 by 3 eighths of an inch. It's extra thin. It's only an eighth of a centimetre or 3 eighths of an inch wide. You get an illuminated uh, area of uh, 44 by 32 centimetres. That's 17 by 12 and a half inches. It's got AC adapter. It's got an integrated on, off and dimmer switch, which I can't really show you that well on here. I'm just, um, I'm just seeing if I can... There, so I'll switch it off. Oh, sorry. You've switched it off now, right? I'm just seeing if you can see how it can get brighter. Right, you ready? Now, you see, you're not, you're not really seeing it. On mine, it's getting brighter and brighter. I'm not sure it's working, actually, on the telly there. Oh, you can see it. 
It's got LED, you've got, it's natural, it looks like natural daylight. It's got dimmer light. Now, this is important. This is important to a lot of you. It's eco-friendly. It uses 80% less energy. So, Hannah, if you had this in your house, your electricity thing wouldn't be doing that on the mantelpiece. It would be just going 80% slower. And it's slim and lightweight. It is fantastic. I'm going to warn you now, it's going to sell out. It is going to sell out. Uh, Hannah's just trying to explain something to me. Less than? Oh, the seven left. The seven left. And is that... They're all confirmed. They're all confirmed. Right. There are seven left, but there are loads of you within your basket. It's going to sell out. I'm going to sell out. I'm going to have to switch it off because it's going to sell out. Oh. Right. Oh, on, on, the, on, the, on the still, on the still here, Tim's, Tim, Tim's just said this, right? He didn't realise you could turn the light up. That's it on its lowest setting. So if we, next time we do it, we'll take a picture of it with, with the different settings of the different lights. Only came this morning, only came this morning, and we're about to sell out. We're about to sell out. That's the only light that's on in there. That was in a pitch dark room. I haven't even told you, £99.95, I think it's a brilliant price. Uh, right, I'm going to carry on with everything else now. We are, well, we're going, to tell, we're going to tell them to order more, obviously, because that, they, that, that. Well, I, I think, as well as it being um, practical to use, I think it looks, you know how some computers look sleek, and I think that's got that look of very designer. But as you say, when you put that away, look how thin it is. You could put that in with, you know what I mean? It's, it's just so st easily stored. Uh, uh, it's, what is it, three-eighths of an inch, th you know what I mean? Smaller than a seam allowance. Smaller than a seam allowance. Point 0.8 of a centimetre, that. Right. Well, congratulations, you've got that. Right, please check out your baskets. There's five left, but how many people in baskets? Ridiculous amounts of people in baskets. So if you want it, please check out. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But it's brilliant, it's brilliant, but it's sold. It will have sold out. You need to check out your basket. Would you like to come with me to the other side? Right, I need... Um, right, okay. Let me just rearrange my sewing room. Um, <laughs> Jay obviously doesn't work in the sewing room, so I'm just going to rearrange the sewing room here like this. this. This is what I'm talking about now. Right, so you'd have your sewing machine there. You'd have that over there like that, and then you've got that there. It's not on, it's not on. Don't worry, the iron's not on. Right, this is this, right? It's perfect if you're limited with space. It's perfect if you're limited with space. Okay, it's called an ironing sheet. Let me just check. Yes, it's called an ironing sheet. And this is it. This is it, right? So it sits on your desk, right? Sorry, wrong camera. Sits on your desk. So what you do is you don't have to have your sewing machine on it, but if you want... Well, let's just move it across a little bit. There you go. So if you've got... Oh, here we go. The phone's going now. This is called the ironing sheet. So you can have your sewing machine on it, <clears throat> but you can also iron on it as well. The thing that I love about it as well is you obviously you'd be sitting... Oh, I'm right behind the graphics there. I can't do that, can I? Um... Uh, no, because I just want, we, we can pan along, the, if we can pan along the bottom here, because uh, you get this, now this is a removable pouch, you see, so you can put all your, your scraps in there, this little loop here, you can attach anything you want to to that, you can put your scissors in there if you want to, then you move along here, you've got all the little, pa it's what, sorry? No, uh, on the picture, you put your scissors in it, look, let me show you the front of the thing. Hang your scissors in there, you see? Um, anyway, so you can keep everything in here. You've got the pouches on the front. Then you can keep all your... So while you're working, your knees will be there. You'll be sitting facing this way. So you've got all your little utensils, your bobbins or your threads or anything that you need, all in there. So then if... You know how Joy always talks about go from the machine to the iron, from the iron to the machine? If you're limited for space and you haven't got the ironing board there, then you can literally just do it all here. This is an ironing mat... This is like an ironing mat. You can put your pins in there and everything like that. It's, it's like a little worktop. Now, obviously, it's got measurements on here. I wouldn't use these measurements for quilting or anything like that. But if you just need to check something, think, oh, that's supposed to be 10 centimetres, you could just check it on there. I wouldn't use them as, 
you know, your proper, but look, let me just turn it over. It's, an, it's got the heat resistant ironing blanket, you know, 33 pounds and 95 pence. It's got angles on there as well. So if you do, again, like I say, maybe, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, but um, if you just need to check an angle, I wouldn't use it for definitely, definitely, definitely using different angles. But it's a rough guide, isn't it? I wouldn't use it for precision. But if you don't think, oh, is that a 45 degree or is that a 60 degree? If you're making bias binding, that would be quite good for you, eh? making your bias binding, that one there, your 45 degree. Quick, uh, but, but you could, because bias binding doesn't, isn't gonna be attached to anything, you just need the bias of the fabric. You could put that on there and work out your bias on your fabric. I think it's brilliant. Very handy if you've got limited space. A lot of people don't have room for their ironing board or don't want their ironing board next to them there. You know, take it, because if, if you work in your dining room, you don't want to be, oh, let's get the ironing board, let's get this. You can have it all on the table and it's just all there and then all, and this is brilliant. Because you can put your scraps in there, scraps in there. That's not on, don't worry, that's not on, I wasn't gonna. Um, then throw your th things in the bin. Perfect. Right, uh, now, I will be, no, not yet, not yet. Right. Is that iron's not on, is it? Right, here we go. Here we go. Now, the other thing which really I should have had over there is this. Right, let me just move this out of the way. No, no, you can have, we can have it on both sides. We can have it on both sides. Different ironing mats, I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, but always get one of these if you've got one of these to rest your, this is a, I'll tell you in a minute, it's a prim um, silicon iron mat, iron mat when you put it down. Lots of you have been asking when this is coming back in stock. Lots of you have been asking. Now, the reason this one's creased is Jay's just got out the packet, but I'll turn it around towards you. Yes. It's an ironing mat. It's an ironing mat. You know how we always have? There you go. Lots of people have been waiting. Now, they go quickly. <clears throat> when we had this in the first time, I had enough for like a couple of months and they all sold in, what, like the little iron, they all sold in one sitting. These are likely to do the same. It's an ironing mat, it's, an, it's the same thing, it's got the um, heat resistant pad on the back, it's got the, um, the foam inside, it's got the foam inside so you've got the squidginess. But you know how Mandy Shaw always says, oh, don't get a squidgy ironing board to do the tra transfers. This would be all right, because if it's on a table, you've got the solidness underneath and then you could do your, you know, I like that. Anyway, people checking out this, 24 pounds and 95 pence. 24.95. Fantastic, isn't it? Now, if you've got one of these and you like putting it, a lot of people, you see, I always have my iron up like this. I never, ever, ever put it down. Some people like to keep their iron like that, you see. If you do that, then get one of these. This side will come wrapped. <laughs> And this is it unwrapped. Uh, it's brilliant. It's called an iron rest. It's a silicon iron rest. It's five pounds and 95 pence. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, now you see, my, uh, Hayley said, oh, but surely, where you got this in? Oh, surely all ironing boards have a metal uh, cradle at the end. She came round to my house, my ironing board, it's a posh ironing board, but it's got no cradle at the end. Uh, because then you get the full length of the ironing board to do your trousers, but if you have one of these, they get, one of these came with the ironing board. Um, but you can have this, not, not, oh no, I have to say a, a, a silicon mat came with it, but it's not as gorgeous as this. So if you need to put your iron down, put it on there. Um, now I would say, don't keep it on there all the time, switched on, but if you're just putting it down a lot, then we'll do it. Don't, don't leave it, don't leave it like that and go, don't, go to the shops or anything like that. But if you want to just qu quickly do that, do a bit of patchwork, put it back, do, do a bit of patchwork. Like Lucy was doing this morning, just pressing seams, then it's brilliant for that. It's absolutely brilliant. So how much is it? 5.95. 5.95. These are flying out, by the way. I think I might be down to, si did you say single figures? Right, I'm down to single figures already on the mat. This is the ironing blanket. And that one over there, the big one on the table, was the ironing sheet. I know it's very complicated. This is that we all get confused, and Jay, don't I start? This is a blanket. The one that sits, sits over your table uh, is a sheet, the sheet, right? So I'll just put that there. Oh, there you go, have a look, one, one more. This is the blanket. 
So this one measures 90 by 60, and the sheet uh, is slightly bigger, but it's also got the hanging bit with the loops in it. Okay? Right, well, while I'm on ironing, can I just talk about this? Yeah. I love these. When I first did, I'll show you, the, I'll show you, no, I'll show you it in a packet, right? I'll show you it in a packet. When we first got this, someone said, oh, we've got, a, we've got a pressing sheet, John. So I opened it and I was like, oof, well, this doesn't feel like a pressing sheet. And then I went, how much is it? And it's 50, is it 15.95? Yep, 50, oh, it's frightening, isn't it? How you remember the prices. And I was like, a pressing sheet for 15.95? That's exactly how it did it, right? And I was like, I was like, I was like, what, what? What, 15.95? I use an old tea towel. Anyway, I got it out of the packet and I was like, but this'll melt. This'll melt, won't it? It's just the best thing. We've had so many messages. We've had so many messages in about how brilliant these are. Now my iron's not on, so I'll just show you, I'll just show you something, right? Right, if, if you're doing bond web or you're putting lace onto fabric that needs to be um, ironed onto fabric, right? Right, let's just pretend we haven't got that, right? Imagine we, we're putting some um, fabric onto a bond webbing and we've, so we've got, hang on. Right, so we've got um, fabric, We've got bond web and then we've got more fabric and you're pressing it on. The amount of times the bond web, the glue will seep out. The glue will seep out of here, right? Not only does it go on your iron, it also goes on your brand new ironing blanket. Uh, hang on, uh, sheet, sorry. No, hang on. Blanket, that's confusing me because it says sheet there, that's why. Oh yeah, sorry, that's what I'm getting very confused with all everything that's going on. Right, so instead of getting the bond web on your blanket and on your iron, what you do is you get your Teflon uh, ironing sheet. Oh, it's very confusing with sheets and blankets there. You sandwich, so imagine that's got bond web on it and then the fabric on there. Then this transfers the heat through so you can still prep, you can, because it's opaque, you can see exactly what you're ironing. You can see exactly what's going on there. Now, if the, this doesn't melt, this won't melt, this won't melt, this won't melt. Now, imagine if your bond web has eked out, or if you're putting lace, because a lot of time when you put uh, lace on fabrics, you bond web it into place first. The lace has got holes in it, so the bond web's gonna come through, right? So, this way, it's got only, the only place it can go onto is the sheet, right? Now, my one word of warning with this sheet, is it gets hot, it gets very hot, so please, please, please be careful. But anyway, you peel that back, your bond, bond webbing, your lacing and everything is fine. Then if any glue has gone onto it, hasn't gone onto your iron, it hasn't gone onto, uh, onto your, like if you go to the iron in the other room, there's bond web all over it, right? And Jennifer told you yesterday, I ironed a blouse and it got bond web on it. You then, when this cools down, just peel the bond web off here, the glue off here, it's just, Fantastic! It is so. A fifteen ninety-five worth spent money, well worth, well spent money, well spent money, well spent. Uh, yes, because if you, yes, imagine if you share a house, or if Karen like rents um, a room from um, a, a, a Hannah. Um, you don't want to ruin a house iron. You don't want to ruin a house ironing board. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people will like burn the pot mats, won't they? Go, wasn't me? Wasn't me? When you know full well it was them. When they knew full well it's them, Hannah. Right. This is so worth it. This, and we've had so many um, emails in from you and texts and messages in from you saying, oh, I've had mine for years, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Don't, but yeah, you'll most probably get out and go, oh, this will melt, I'm not using that, oh, I'm not doing that. But have a go, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, it's one of my favorite things now. It's one of my favorite things now, because to me, a pressing cloth was an old tea towel, one of the ones with linen cloth written across the bottom, you know what I mean? Anyway. So well worth, that's the size of it there, it's for 18 by 18 square. You'll, you, you'll wonder why you never had it before. Once you've started using it, you'll think, why, why, why have I not got one of those before? Next. Oh, COVID, now, and you've just seen Lucy do the last uh, show with this log cabin, right? Now, a, a, a curvy log cabin, let me show you what a curvy log cabin is first. Right, so what you've got here is you've got, this is a curvy log cabin. Now, remember on Lucy's, she had, in fact, you can see, it's hanging behind me, all of her 
blocks, all of her piece of fabric with the same width. On a curvy log cabin, you have a wide side and a narrow side. You see what I mean? So these are all an inch, and these are all, I'd say, half an inch, or five-eighths of an inch. No, they must be half an inch, wouldn't they, because they'll fit into the block, right? So this is what they call a curvy log cabin. Now, you've just seen Lucy do it, right? Um, now, I've got two rulers. I've got the two rulers. I've got the eight-inch finish one here. Uh, right, I've, this, is, this is an eight-inch one. This is a six-inch one. Okay, this is an eight-inch one, but these are made from the six-inch one, these. Uh, I'll, do, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Put the eight-inch in, but it's exactly the same. I can't show you on, I can't show you on, these, on these blocks here, because obviously these are the six-inch block. But it's exactly the same principle as this, except on the... I'm going to open this one and just show you. Um, pretend it's an eight-inch one, right? I was going to open the six-inch one, but it's not here, so... Um, it's the same principle, but what you've got on this is you've got the narrow... You've got the narrow side and you've got the wider side. So what you do with this one, you know how Lucy just had three, she just had the three squares here and that was all she needed. What you do on this one is when you do the narrow side, you do it that way up and then you twist it round this way and you use the bigger squares going the other way. You see the bigger square in the middle there. So literally, you, then, you can then, it's a trimming tool exactly like that one we had earlier with Lucy. But you see, because one side on the curvy log cabin is wider and then this side is narrower. It's lovely, isn't it? I've got two, two different uh, examples there. You see, on this one, you've got the wide one and then the narrow one going around there. The only thing you have to do is you have to make sure... These, you can cut these to any size you want, as long as they're... I think Lucy said, uh, um, Joy said, as long as they're one and three-quarter inches wide, you're fine. Um, you only have to make sure the central one is perfect and then the narrow ones, uh, you just trim them off like you did before. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. I love it. I love it, because look at that. So you can do a log cabin with the one you had, Lucy had earlier, or a, a, a curvy log cabin on this one. Right. The reason it's called a curvy log cabin is you can, do, you can set things out in different ways. This is the traditional way of doing a curvy log cabin, which is what I've got, what I've got on the table here. Right? But then if I just bring that up to you here, that look at these. So that's it the other way round. And then th you can also create curvy lines like that with it. And you know, Rachel the Ruler is just abs absolutely brilliant. That was the eight inch, that's the eight inch one, which is in there at the moment, if you want an eight inch block. The six inch one is there, which Jay's just looking for now, but I'm gonna move on. I'm going to move on from that one. Let me just put that in the bin there. So, next, is it needles next? Oh, I've got more rulers. Sorry, 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 sorry. <gasps> somebody messaged that. Said, somebody said they tuned in for the first time yesterday and thought I was rubbish because I could have kept doing the wrong things. Thanks for that. Right. Triangles. Now, you can think, what do I need a triangle ruler for? Why would I need a triangular ruler? Well, this is brilliant. It's non-slip. Uh, 60, 60 degree. Now, is that isosceles or not? A 60 degree triangle. Now, it's called an eight inch finished, right? But you can use this for any size triangles you need. What? Say this again. Triangular ruler, eight inch, but... Well, yes, of course, they, this and this side. No, that, that one's not the same size. Equilateral would be if all three were the same. All right. Oh, I don't know. Let me have a look. We'll check. We'll check. Oh, equilateral. I didn't, couldn't quite understand what she meant. Let's have a look then. Uh, let's see. So it measures 10 inches that way. And it measures... Yep, it's an equilateral triangle. Thank you. No, that's good. No, that's good. Equilateral triangle. It's not an isosceles. It's a 60 degree. They call it, in quilting terms, they call it a 60 degree triangle. Right, so you can get a triangle this size. But look, you can also do 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch. All different sizes of triangles you can do from that. So... If you were just doing like this, like a, a cartwheel. Now, the thing I love about this is if you look at the ruler, it's flat on the top there, which is going to help enormously because you never need that pointy bit, do you? And it means if you've cut a strip of fabric five inches wide, 
you can, uh, for a five, you know, for a five inch uh, triangle, if you're cutting it out, that lines up with the top of the fabric. So you haven't got to guess. And you don't need that pointy bit there, do you at all? And then you've just got, again, you've got the, the grip down the side. You've got the grip down the middle. It is fantastic. Once you put it down, you can move it around, but once it's down on the fabric, once you put pressure on it, it's not gonna move anywhere. Uh, we've got this uh, border, this lovely border of one here as well, using the different size triangles. So obviously, this, is, this isn't done with it. That won't be done with the triangular ruler automatic. Or is it? No. Or is it? But these, I'm just wondering now, you could all be complicated. 20 pounds and 95 pence for that ruler. Okay. Now, something that's always very, very popular, this huge ruler here. I love this. I love this just for the look of it. Just for the look of it. Whenever we bring you the, now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Just pass me a piece of the fabric from over there, Jay. Uh, Jay's just getting me some fabric from here. Um, only because you can't see everything that's going on. Thanks, Jay. Right. That's a lot of fabric. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Only so you can see it better, that's all. This is the 20 and a half by 20 and a half inch. That's 52 centimeters by 50 centimeters. You could do so much with this, couldn't you? Look at the way it's marked up. All the inches are there with the, th with the half inch, quarter inch, three quarter inch. In fact, let me turn it around the other way. And you can actually see all the numbers on it all your way around. There they are. I did, I did it that way around because I had a big sticker on it, but I'll just put my hand over the sticker. There you go. You've got all the sizes in inches. So it's easy to cut strips of fabric, to get square off fabric. Of course, because it's 20 and a half inches wide. If you fold your fabric in half, it's 44. You can almost get the way across or cut it, measure it into um, four. You can cut across your fabric. Marked in white and in black, so you can see whether you're on light fabric or dark fabric, you see where you need to be. Also, look at all those discs on the back. That ruler is not going anywhere. So you've got the, 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 the around the edge, you've got the non-slip non resin, but you've also got discs of it all over the ruler. You've got angles on there as well, if you want to do bias bind, you want to do triangles. It's a very, very, very versatile ruler, especially if you do bigger projects, 49 pounds and 95 pence. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Okay, now I've got another triangular uh, ruler. Now this one, I love this one. If you subcut, if you've got strips of fabric and you're subcutting, this is a quarter square triangle that you can cut from this one, two and a half inches. But look at this, what I love here is you've got these cutouts here. That's so you're, if you're cutting out subcutting triangles, because you not only get these, you also get the ones that are in there as well. Uh, these discs here are um, for when you take your, your uh, rotary cutter down, so you're not cutting, you can use it as a ruler as well, look. You just use a simple ruler there as well. There's what, sorry? On there, the, on these, a very little, the very, very little here. This is what you can make. So you can make your uh, quarter square triangles there. Oh, now that's like a block like somebody I know made that block. But then look there, that one is lovely, isn't it? So you can use this ruler to make both of those. Now, what you can also do is if you go to YouTube, and put in creative grids and the ruler, which is called a 90 degree triangle strip ruler. All the instructions will be on there. If you've got one of those, is it called QR? Oh, oh no, I tell, it, it'll be underneath there. It'll be underneath that where, the, where the instructions are. There's a little QR reader on it. You see, this is what it's basically used for. That's, the, that's, the, what, it, that's what it's basically used for. For flying keys. Um, and then, all the instructions, uh, 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 there's also the QR reader there, which will take, if you've got one of those, it'll take you through to the instructions there. So it'll be on the, it's on the ruler and it'll be underneath there. But you can go to YouTube and look up Creative Grids. Rachel's done um, films for all of her different rulers. They are fantastic, they're brilliant. So, that's that one. Next, 
needles. Now, um, I'll show you the four different ones I've got, and then I'll show you what's fabulous about these. You're going to think, oh, one of those packets looks a bit damaged. That's because I've opened it. Right, so what we've got here, we've got four different types of quilters needles. Uh, hang on, let's do this, 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 this. There we go. So the two red ones here uh, are fine. We've got 23 millimeter fine and we've got 26 millimeter fine. Right, these are the 26 millimeter fine. We've got the one in the packet that look a bit, um, in fact, I'll, well, let's just concentrate on these for a minute, right? Right, I'm gonna take it out of the packet. Right. This is how it comes in your packet, right? 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 Top comes off. Watch this. Boop. They don't fall out. There's a magnet inside. There's a magnet inside. So what you, you can get it out of it. So, so let me just show you that again. Maybe I was a bit quick. So that's how they arrive. That's how you store them in your drawer, right? And you know they're the um, fine ones because they've got the red top on them. Pop the top open like that. Go to tip them out. And they're all there. And look, and then when you need one, there you go. Oops. There you go. You just take, oh, just take them out. They don't fall out. They don't fall out. Look, they don't fall out until you take, and then, and then when you finished it, when you finish with it, just pop it back in, pop them away. Isn't that brilliant? And also, these are renowned. They've got silver tips on them. They've got um, the eyes on the needles are made, uh, they, uh, so they've done something to them which makes them so easy to thread. So these are the 26 millimeter fine quilters premium needles. We love it, we love it. You know what, you know, imagine, you know um, Irene who does the needle thread, you'd imagine her to have these, wouldn't you? Because that's the kind of thing she'd have. I, I'd look. So how many times do you lose your needles and things? How many times do our, our designers go, oh, where's my needle again, where's my needle? Look, they're not falling out. And they go away so easily. Aren't they fantastic? Okay, so they are £4.45. You get, I think you get 20 in the packet, don't you? 20, 20 in the packet. I'll just, all of them do that, but that is the, that's the 26 fine. These are the 23 fine. Just make sure I pick the right ones up. Yeah, these are the 23 millimeter fine ones. Okay, then very quickly, I've got other, I've got extra fine here. Oh, sorry, 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 I'm going too fast. The back to the, oh, hang on. Yeah, there you go, there you go. There the fine, there you go, it says on there, it's silver eye. It's got a silver eye, right? 23 millimeter, four pounds 45. Then I've got extra fine. Now they're the ones in the lime green top. Okay. Extra fine is if you're doing silks, if you're doing chiffons, uh, anything like that, then you need the extra fine needles that just slip through it more easily. Okay, and then last but not least, if you want a mixture of 23 and 26, they're the white top with the purple bottle. Oh, they've all got purple bottles, the white top. These are a mixture of 23 and 26 millimeters. Exactly the same needles, fine and extra fine. It's really clever, isn't it? At four pounds and 45 pence for 20 needles. And they're not gonna go anywhere, are they? You're gonna be able to store them and keep them and everything. Right. Oh, hang on, now, uh, yes. Okay, um, if you have got the light box in your basket, you need to check out. There's loads of you with it in the basket, but there's only two that haven't been confirmed. Until we order some more, until we order some more. Uh, and I have asked for the wish list. I've asked for the wish list, which is the next in development thing, where if it's sold out, that so many things they've got to develop, aren't they? Right, let's go on to stencils, shall we? Laser cut templates. So I've got three to show you today. Right, so I've got, let's do this one first. This one is, I think I've got diamonds in here. Diamonds, diamonds, I was just checking on the, now, I'll just get this for you. This, these templates were used, Victoria Pete used them to do this reverse applique. Oh, is this one the reverse applique? Yeah, the reverse applique on the cushions here. You could also do 
tumbling blocks. Because even though they look like squares, they're made up of diamonds, aren't they? They're made up of diamonds. So what you get in here, I'll just put those there. What you get in here is you get eight different sizes ranging from, uh, oh, hang on, I've got it on the packet here, ranging from three quarters of an inch to three inches. They do, I'll, I'll show you one of the big ones because it's easier. They do come with a seam allowance on them. If you look here, 13.95 these are. Um, you get the, the dot, the, if you do the seam allowance, the little dots, you can just mark through where each corner is so you know where to pivot if you're sewing or anything like that. It's got the quarter of an inch seam allowance on. So now if you're using, if you're, if you're thinking of having a plique, they'll be slightly bigger than the finished sizes, obviously, because you've got an extra quarter of an inch on each seam. But if you're going to seam it, then you've got the quarter of an inch. What's brilliant is, look, uh, now I can never do this. It's got this brilliant, uh, there you go. No, no, Lucy laughed at me the first time we did these because I couldn't do it. In fact, am I doing it now? <laughs> no. These unscrew. I, I, my big fat sausage fingers won't let me at it and I'm a bit sweaty and nervous today. Oh, it's one of those days, isn't it? It's Michael on cameras really put me off today. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'll show you, I'll show you. This does unscrew. This does unscrew. I should have practiced with this one beforehand. It feels like it's doing it, but I don't. it is easy. It's just me. It's just me. If I do it in rehearsals in the other room, it's fine. But it's. Uh, oh no, Hannah doesn't go to rehearsals. She just she's still in bed when we're doing the rehearsals. I have to go back to her village and collect her later. Anyway, these are diamond-shaped uh, templates. Eight of them for thirteen pounds. They're laser cut as well. They're laser cut. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look. You know on Saturday Kitchen, do you know on Saturday Kitchen, they go in and they have to do the whole show with cooking, with everything. They run it through as rehearsal before they go live on telly. Oh no, they have to be there at like three o'clock in the morning. Yes, that's why they, they, they've had a lot. No, I don't think they have to the wine at three o'clock in the morning, but um, yes. I think if you're a guest on it, you're given wine from the minute you arrive. So I think by the time they get to, to you on t the table, you're quite merry. It's a brilliant show, though. I only know because my friend used to be on the, a friend of mine used to be a chef on there, and he went, I can't do it anymore. I can't get there for three o'clock in the morning. Uh, triangles. Triangle templates. Oh, there you go, no time. Now, who was Little Paul's having one of these as a key ring? He wants the one with hearts on as his key ring. Triangles. Eight of them, again, the same sizes, £13.95. Laser cut, brilliant. they're just brilliant. If you're doing patchwork, if you're doing applique, anything like that, reverse applique, they're just invaluable. And you know they're all going to fit together beautifully because if if, they're all measured precision with precision. Let me have a go with this one, see if I can do this one. £13.95. I love this as well because they come with the tag on and everything. Lovely. £13.95. Right, then I've got pentagons. I've got pentagons next. Oh, hang on, let me have a look. I've got a message from Kay, apparently. What a lovely, lovely size ruler. Hint to Guy, perfect for a finished sewing room. Guy! Shh. Lovely size ruler, hint to Guy, perfect for a finished... No, for a finished sewing room. So she's had her sewing room built. It's ready. She just needs a big ruler for it now. And guess she wants Guy to buy it. Must be, is Guy your partner? Or any guy? Do you want any guy? Jay will buy it. Yes. Uh, Matthew, me and my girlfriend are taking up sewing as a new hobby. Love watching the show to pick up new ideas. Thank you for Matthew and Holly in Leeds. Oh, that's Holly where they spell it with a, look nicely. Thank you, Matthew and Holly. What you, let us know when you've made something, let us know. We have lots of couples watching us. Yesterday, we, well, uh, we had Paul and... Anyway, he, Paul was in, was it Paul? And he was in bed and she was just using his credit card. But we don't condone fraud. Right. Apparently it's not fraud if you're married. Hannah, was, Hannah that's what Hannah's mum says anyway. Look, uh, Victoria Pete made this using these templates last time she was in. It wasn't even part of the show. She went, oh, by the way, I've made this as well. 
But she loves this. She absolutely loves this because she put on Instagram, I didn't want to leave him behind. So what you get, what you get is you get the pentagons. Yeah, pentagons, that's right. Five-sided pentagons. So you, all sizes, all sizes. Now, pentagons are five-sided, as you can see. £13.95. Pounds pounds. Again, you get eight. Laser cut. No. I'll get Lucy to do it in the next break. Yes, yes. No. They are really easy, I promise. They are really easy. No, not everyone's asked to do it live on telly with sweaty hands. Paul and Anne, that was who it was. That's right, Paul and Anne. Oh. oh, Helen has said, Helen for Cambridge, she sends in a message going, hello, John. Oh, is that all? Is that all she wrote? Hello, Helen. And where is she in Cambridgeshire? I think we used to live in Cambridgeshire. Is that near St. Neots? Is that Cambridgeshire? There's an RAF base there somewhere anyway. £13.95. pence. Really, really lovely templates there. No, that was Duxford, where the um, toilet was frozen over. Yeah, you've heard of it, because it's a museum. That's it, that's it. My dad used to fly in those air shows. And uh, we lived on the airfield in Duxford. And then if you watch the film, The Battle of Britain, you see our old corrugated iron house being blown up. Oh, no! My mum got very upset. Not that she hated living there, but she got very upset when she... The house was called the Ponderosa. All these things that... I was only three. How do I remember these things? Right. What's next? What's next? Right, some... I will indeed. The, Matt, this one. The silicon. Let me move that. Right, first of all, this, we've got the... Um, no wonder that people complain about me. This what I've got going on in my ear. Silicon, brilliant. I'll just show you that one. Iron, hot, table, burn, no. So it's a silicon iron rest for £5.95. pence. If your ironing board hasn't got a cage at the end, a little cage to put your iron in the middle, this is a perfect that one. Doesn't let the iron stain the, um, the mat. Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it's silicon. Obviously, don't leave it on there all the time. I like the fact with this one, you've got the nodule. So if you've got it on steam, there's like little, the rivulets of steam can go underneath the, the, the nodules there. Five pounds and 95 pence. And then I've got to tell you about this as well very quickly. Very limited. I knew that they always are. They, an ironing, it's, called, it's an ironing mat, but they call it an ironing blanket. Sheet, blanket, blanket. It's basically an ironing, you know, tabletop ironing pad. Last time I had it in, absolutely sold out. Less than seven now. We've got less than seven of these today. Told you it would be. Prim ironing blanket, 90 by 60 centimetres. Let's say this again. Yeah, even, well, um, when we got them in last time, we sold out. Then we got them in again, and they went, all went on the web. We didn't even show them on the, on the show. Now these are flying out, down, less than seven. Matthew. Oh, no, I'm going, uh, Kay. Husband. Oh, yeah, guy's her husband. And he needs to, oh, he needs to finish the room. So the room's not finished yet. Says Christmas, but not given a year. Oh, which Christmas, which year? Okay, I do worry about you. Sonia, love the templates. I've bought the iron rest. Can you shout out my little village of great, not great, great Wyerley? That's near here then, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, Sonia, great Wyerley. Right, moving on. Oh, sorry. That's, that's, um, Wave to the crowd, two, three, finger the pearls, two, three. Wave to the crowd, two, three. That's what they teach royals. Yes, finger the pearls, two, three. Wave to the crowd, two, three. I, I just know. I don't know why I know. Anyway, this is brilliant. This is another really, really, really good little buy, this. Quilters, fabric, handy pocket guide. Oh, this is different to the one I've had before. Oh, I love it. I love this. This is different. To the, we've already had one of these. I thought the last one was pink. You see, and I looked at it. I thought, oh, I've had that one before. But do you know what? 
This is brilliant. Now, if you're going out shopping and you just need... Oh, that looks like Lorraine Kelly, doesn't it? Oh, no. Looks like my friend Hilary O'Neill, that one. Um, really, really, really gorgeous book. Just pop it in. Look, the colour circle, the colour wheel, matching different colours and patterns. Different kinds of characters of print, so you can see how they're going to work when you're using them in your quilt. Then we've got uh, all different pa patterns there. Add some sparkle. Uh, focus on your fabrics. This is a cute little gift. How much is this? Five ninety-five. Caring for your fabrics. Laundry day. Troubleshooting. Where and how to store fabric. See, that's important. I'm not letting you read it now. Uh, new. I would say nutritional, but that's not the right word, is it? Non-traditional fabrics. No, I thought it said nutritional. <laughs> and I knew that wasn't right. I just love it. I just love little books like this. Uh, now, I've never heard of a fabric called this. Never heard of that before. I've heard of velvet. Super soft and furry. This non-woven fabric can be tricky to sew because of the nap. Oh, we've got that fabric that we made the whale out of. Yes. Oh, now, well, that's, that, 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 isn't that the... Um, she's the lady who does the, uh, first, your first quilt. It's Alex, isn't it? Alex something. She's, that's the picture she's got on my first quilt book. And there's even room at the end, look, to put your notes. At five pounds and 95 pence. Five pounds and 95 pence. Right. Oh, have I done something wrong? Okay. Look at this, right? There's one light box not being confirmed. There's one light box. If you want it, you need to confirm now. Oh. Now this, this, we do do other glue pens. But this, this is how this one comes. Three ninety-five. This, oh, three pounds and ninety-five pence. Look, it's just—it's an affordable glue stick. Three pounds and ninety-five pence. If you're doing your hexes, if you're doing your paper piecing, if you're doing your, um, uh, uh, yeah, the little hexes that um, Jane, lovely Jane, she uh, she used this. At three pounds and 95 pence. And you know what some people do? Before they're putting a zip in, they use this to then just put a little dab, dabs of it like that. And you literally put, and it just uh, holds the glue. If you're sewing lace onto something and you want to make sure it goes in, like around the hem of a dress or something, you don't want it to go wobbly, then you can just use this because it dries. It may be bright yellow here, but it dries completely clear. And if you wash the garment, it then washes away. So it's not a, a, a permanent fix, obviously. It's not a glue that's going to stay. You couldn't glue a hem with it and then hope it's going to stay up forever. It, you could glue a hem before you stitch it so that it's in perfect place. In fact, you know what would be brilliant? On a circular skirt, right, if you go around a hem with a machine on a circular skirt, sometimes it ropes, doesn't it? It goes like that because it hasn't... If you do it with this first, it doesn't affect the needle. When you're stitching through it, it doesn't affect the needle either. And if you're doing hand stitching, it doesn't affect the hand stitching either. In fact, Lucy Brennan uses these all the time for her paper piecing, doesn't she? Glue pen. Okay, now Hannah's got a little bit of block experience she'd like to share with you. I will be doing a bit of this because it takes her a while. Okay. With her foundation pe paper piecing, some beats were too... Sm I'm not reading that, <laughs> right? Some bits were so small to pin, she wasn't confident holding them. So she used this to glue it down and then she stitched it. I can't wait to see this block. Lucy's going like this. Mm. No, she's not, she's not, she's not, she's not. Because yeah, I was really shocked because I thought when I was training to use glue, I used to work with a lady called Mary. She'd go, oh, just clack it on. And she'd use a glue gun and everything. And we were like Wimbledon School of Art. Oh, I beg your pardon. But we never use, think of using glue. But it's fantastic. If all our experts use it, it's worth it. You can also buy the refill. Now, I haven't got one of these in a package, I don't think, have I? No. But this is fine. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to laugh. 
I'm not going to laugh. This is, a, this is a refill of glue. 195. Now, Jay thought this was a packet of needles earlier and couldn't figure out where they were. Oh, now this one's a different color. Look, that one's a, um, a different color one, that one. Anyway, that's your refill. One pound and 95 pence. Now remember, it dries clear, so you don't need to work. I've got other things, but I've, got not time. I've not got time to do the water pen, I'm afraid. That's a shame. I'll just show you quickly. I'll show you quickly. It's a, it works better if you do a demonstration. Natasha did a fantastic demonstration of this. You fill it with water, you can mark pleats, you can mark fabrics, and if you've used the brown pen, the brown pen, Jay, the washable marker, you can wash it off using this, you put the nib in there, you fill it with water like an old fa fa fashioned cartridge pen, and then you can just, it's brilliant, 10.95. Right, don't go anywhere. Lucy Brendan, Mrs. Brendan's up next. I know, we're making the most of hers today. Are you in tomorrow as well? Oh no, she's, one day only. One day only, uh, Lucy Brennan is up doing the Dresden, I think it's called the Dresden Plate, isn't it? It's, I love the Dresden Plate. We'll see you in three minutes from now, do not miss it. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Thursday the 10th of August for a day like no other. The maestro of colour, Kay Fassett himself, will be visiting the Sewing Quarter studio. Kay Fassett has inspired people across the world with his colourful work in fabric, knitting, needlepoint, patchwork, painting and mosaic. And in these two unmissable programmes, we'll meet the man behind the fabric masterpieces that so often feature in our shows. So tune in on Thursday the 10th of August at 9am and 11am as we step into Cafe's world, exclusively on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So today I'm going to show you how to do a double stitch. Now you would use a double stitch at the start and the end of your sewing to uh, secure your threads rather than using a rig, a really big knot. You're going to want to take your needle through the front of your fabric first and then come out back through the front. So I'm using really big stitches at the moment so I can see what I'm doing. You're going to leave a tail before you then repeat that in and out motion. So you can see that's one. I'm going to go back through again and that's two. So you can see I've done two stitches in the same place. That's giving me my double stitch. You would then do whatever stitch it is that you're going to go on to do. So I'm just going to do a quick running stitch. OK, so now I'm going to do my double stitch at the very end of my uh, stitch there. So it's repeating the process. So I'm going in, and then back out, in, and then back out before clipping my threads. So obviously you would clip these closer when you get to uh, finishing your garment. So there you have it. Join us at the quilting event of the year this summer. From the 10th to the 13th of August, we'll be at the Festival of Quilts at Birmingham NEC. Come to the Sewing Quarter Cafe where you can meet our presenters and enjoy a spot of English paper piecing with special guests, including talented quilter Joe Carter. And on Sunday the 13th of August, join me, John Scott, and designer Mandy Shaw at the Sewing Quarter Workshop. Learn how to make Mandy's red work Christmas decorations and take home a free iron-on pattern transfer to help you get started. If you fancy being part of the fun, head to www.thefestivalofquilts.co.uk and use the voucher code SEWQ17 for £2.50 off adult tickets and £1 off concessions. We hope to see you there. Looking forward to Festival of Quilts, aren't you? It seemed ages and ages ago when they said, oh, could you go to Festival of Quilts in August? I'm like, boof, it's ages, I'd have to think about that. It's next week. Next week, I'm there on Friday and Sunday. As you just saw, I'm doing the show with Mandy Shaw on Sunday. Um, so I'll be meeting and greeting on Thursday and Sunday. Uh, Natasha's there on the Wednesday. Hang on, what, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, Saturday. 
Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So now she'll be there on the Thursday, and I think she's there on the Saturday, I'm not sure. Um, Joe Carter's going to be there, which is on the advert. Are you going there as a guest? Are you wandering around? I'm wandering around. So if you see, there will be a competition, no prize. Spot Lucy Brennan. On Saturday. On Saturday. Oh, I won't see you then. Oh, again, she gets enough of me here, doesn't she? Uh, no, you can't, not today, on Saturday. You have to find you on Saturday, not today. Uh, look at this, I love the Dresden plate block. We love, love, love Dresden. It's the first time I've ever made, we've ever, I've ever made one of these. Not that I'm making this one, but you'll be proud of me. I did sewing on the show the other day. Uh, oh, God, that was a bit of a patronizing clap. Oh, well done, darling. Uh, isn't it gorgeous? We're gonna show you how to make that. We're gonna show you how to make that. But as always, I've got three bundles for you to choose from. I'll do this one first. I'll do this one first. What you get in the bundle is some of my favorite fabrics, the frou-frou fabrics from Paris. You get half, that seems to be an awful lot of fabric. I bet you can make a lot of Dresdens out of this. Half a meter, half a meter, half a meter, half a meter, half a meter. All different, gorgeous, aren't they? You get the thread, you get some embroidery thread, and you get some wadding for 43 pounds and 95 pence. Then we'll move on to the one that Lucy's actually making during the show, which is a gingham spectacular. So you get half a meter of the blue, half a meter of the natural, half a meter of the pink, but you also get the um, spot on and the solid white and the embroidery thread and the sewing thread and the uh, wadding. Just show you it as the uh, still. There you go, there's the bundle there, the kit. And then last but not least, this is a nice one. Now you're not gonna be seeing this one made up, but this one's gonna be beautiful. This is that fabric that I launched a few weeks ago, isn't it? Oh, I've got something else to tell you a minute. Um, so, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter. Then you've got the thread, then you've got the embroidery thread. Then you get the wadding. They're still for that one. There you go. Now, um, this, it's all, th th this is a beautiful book. We've had so many beautiful books today, haven't we? Really, really beautiful. Now, the pattern for this one is in, the, in this book, in this book. I'll go through it properly with you in a minute. Beginner's Guide to Quilting. And I'll let Lucy talk to you because it really is a beginner's guide to quilting. 16 projects to learn to quilt by Elizabeth Betts. Right, um, before I go uh, uh, over there, I need to tell you I've got an announcement to make at 5 to 12. 5 to 12, I've got a bit of an announcement to make. Right, should we go? I'll take the cushion. Here's the finished cushion. Right, Lucy Brennan. Hello. Make me... I've never made one of these before, so I don't, I don't even know how to start with one of these. I know log cabins. Um, right, now what have you used here? What's this that you've used? So this is the Creative Grids non-slip Dresden plate ruler. Right, okay. Obviously, when it's wrapped, when it's wrapped up like that, there's, are there two pieces to it then? Yes, you get two pieces. So you get the wedge shape, which is for the Dresden plate. Shape, yeah. And then you also get the circle. Oh, sorry, there you go. There's the wedge shape. Oh, and the circle for the middle. For the centres. That's nice. So you could use that for loads of other things, couldn't yes. you, as well? I, 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 yes, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So how much is that? £20.95. What size does it make? Um, it makes... A whole range of different sizes, so from, um, well, a one inch, that would be That'd be tiny. tiny um, up to, I guess, a nine. Nine inch. There you go. Oh, yes, there you go. Nine inches. What's this on the, oh. the graphics? Goes up to a nine inch. Go. So any size from a one inch to a nine inch. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Could so we do a quarter or a half. But so I this ruler impossible. is mm -hmm. very versatile then. It's not very like versatile. you can make one thing with this. No, and there are two different shapes of Dresden that it makes as well. So you can make it with the points or you can make it with the curved Oh, edges. let's have a look. Let's have a look. So on, on the other side there. So that's it with the, with the curved edges and that's it with the pointy. Oh, but look, it's also showing you if you just wanted like a drunkard's pathway You could do like bit. a quarter. Quarter one. Yes. And what's that one there? Oh, that's just using... Using that. The wedge. Yeah. Is it called so the wedge? So you could cut that from strips. I don't know. It looks like a wedge to me. Right. The log cabin ruler that Lucy demoed in the last hour has sold out. The trim tool. The trim tool that Lucy did in the last hour has sold out. Right. So this one's mine. Oh, is it? Your <laughs> yeah, own personal that's one? That's my own and personal you one. It. Yes, of course. Um, this is really, really... Yes, don't do that, babe. Um, Go on. So this is 
really, really useful for, for doing the dressings because of the accuracy. Right. What size are you making, first of all, in this show? So I'm making, I'm following, there was a pattern in the book um, for this cushion. Yes. So, the, the, you know, I followed the, the pattern to make the cushion. I have done my circle in a different way from the cushion and actually in a different way than I've done on the show before. Um, so I'm going to show you a different way of doing um, the You the can circle explain that part. as you get to it, yes. Yes. Um, but it, it's, you know, it's just far easier using, using the, the templates. Yes. Okay, then. As this is but new... The, but the pattern is from, yes. you know, so oh, all yes, the, the instructions are in the book. But that's it's, different. Um, well, yes, I'll yeah, let you get they, It was a lot of handwork in, in that particular pattern. Um, right. She appliqued um, the Dresden by hand and the circle. circle. I did it on the sheet. Okay, for good, good, good. Time, good. but you yes. can do it. You know, yeah. you could do it either way. So, so um, I kept to the same measurements. So she was using a four-inch um, wedge shape. Yes. So um, I've cut my strips four inches right. wide. And I've got a stack here. There's an of, awful heavy stack there. Yeah, all of the ginghams and the spot. So you don't need to layer up as many of this. You can do a strip at a time, whatever you feel more comfortable with. If you wanted to open them out, right. um, you could do it that way. But I made two cuts of and each. got all of those oh, with wow. maybe two, three left over. Or this is a very delicate dress. I always think of Dresden Plate being quite big but this cook's quite delicate this yes one, well it? i mean you can do big yes, ones with yeah. the template but yes it is quite delicate because it's quite a nice small yeah, cushion. Lovely. yeah okay it's nice having the hand stitching on so is this is this you've cut the, you've cut the so uh, this, this is what's left over oh, okay from, so you start um, off with the straighter grain at this because i have made one up already so i'll show you that yeah. soon but yes yeah, so the this so i trim the selvages and then the first cut. So the first cut, you're losing, you lose can you just that, see yeah. that? Just that small amount yeah. there. So not very much at all. Um, and then you can just use a ruler. But you want to cut the strips to whatever width you want your um, Dresden strips yeah. to be. Yeah. If you were doing... Oh, shut up. It's OK, you can talk. If you were doing the big Dresden... Yes. Say, say, oh, I'm coming in. Yeah. If say so you were doing that, that big, yes. would you attempt to cut as many layers of fabric when it's that big? Yes. Oh, okay. Doesn't make a difference. You've got that grip yes. going all the way down, so it's still going to um, stay. Okay. I mean, for accuracy, if you're cutting longer bits, you may want to do less. But yes. Obviously, I'm cutting a lot, so I'm comfortable cutting lots of layers. I thought you said I'm, you're lazy. You I'm do... lazy, John. Well, so. also, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'll admit it. If anything, I can do quicker. You know, the yeah. quicker you can cut things, I'd be the quicker you as can a beginner, sew it. Because I know I wish I when I did my block, and I'm sorry yes. to go about my block, but I used a rotary cutter. Yes. And the air was blue. Not because the, I, not because anything wrong no. with the cutter. Ma me, sure. me. Everyone in the office thought it was hysterical. You I would definitely, definitely recommend beginners cut one layer of fabric yeah. until you feel comfortable with the rotary cutter yeah. and you get comfortable quite quickly oh, I'm sure, yes, by the end you know, of it i was fine it was just the first few exactly yeah. so so and also you don't want to waste fabric if if you you know because you could make a, yeah. a mistake so well, especially i was cutting up my shirts i would well yes <laughs> so i would just cut one layer so you can just you can literally fold your strip out place the ruler on and just go through one layer there's no need for you to be cutting you know, layers and layers at a time. So if you do that, how many of each colour do you need? Just two? And then, um, well, you need, uh, you need 20... Oh, do you want to just check? I think you need 20... Is this in the book or is it on here? It should be on there. I think it's 20 make a full circle. So you need 20, I believe. I think it might say... Um, somewhere. I, hit, uh... I think it's 20. No, because they're all the same. Oh, it's 20 on the cushion. I've oh, been no, told. sorry. Yes, 20. Yeah, yes, 20. Right. Yeah. 20. Thank you, 20. Timothy. So you need 20, so you can fold so your fabric on accordingly. Or, got, you can, yes, and you might want fewer of one print and more of another. Or you might want overall. every other one to be one colour and then the ones in between to be different colours and things like exactly. that. Exactly. So that's really up to you, you know, how you want to arrange it. Do you, know the, do you know the history of the Dresden? I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll look that up. If I you know the history of the Dresden, let me know. Yes. 
Well, I no, think I, it, I think it was uh, something to do with the. Uh, I, well, I didn't know it was a plane, but I knew it was something to do with Germany. But uh, Hannah saying it was a German aeroplane. Oh. Oh, plate. Very well, be right. Plate. Sorry. Yes. But it's an aeroplane because <laughs> it looks like the propellers, doesn't it? It does a bit. Just going to count then. Yeah, twenty you need. Hang on. Two, you want missing? Four, six. I might have had to do three cuts. Six, eight, ten. 80. I need to do one more. <gasps> <gasps> well, I don't because I've got already got one. I don't know what I'm yes. talking about. We'll just go with this. Oh, it's for from now. tableware. It's from tableware. Right. So um, then you have to sew them together. No, you sew the points first and then you sew them together. So we want to have that pointed edge. Right. So you do that by folding them oh. right sides together and sewing across the top. Oh, just show that again, Lucy. Okay. Fold it in half. So you have your piece of fabric. I'll follow suit. Do you want to do one? Yeah. Because yeah. we'll do it. I'll do a, a few to show you how I sew them. So you've got your shape, your wedge shape. Yeah. And it's the, the wider part, yes. the top part. So you fold it right sides together and finger press and it. just finger press it. Yeah. And then you're going to sew along here. So from the fold. From the fold, don't don't sew from the um, open, open side. side. From and you the, go from the fold downwards. So the fold's going towards you towards your foot. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you start at the top or you start down? You go down. Right, there. Okay. So that's your edge. Yeah, got it. And you do a quarter of an inch. Okay, and you're on every single one of them, all twenty of them. All twenty of them, but you so can I'll chain. Get them ready. You can chain piece, just use your quarter inch foot or your uh, regular foot with, if you have a quarter inch setting. And you can just chain piece them, just keep sewing them together. Always making sure that you've got the folded edge going towards your needle. You just got, you just got four colours in here. Yes, because the white's the... Um... Yes, that's the background. I'll just Ooh. do four, because I've oh, got the... Five. I've... Oh, right, I'll do... Oh, sorry, five. Okay. We have a question for you, Lucy. Yes. Is it on here? Oh, it's in an email from Christine. Uh, she says, hello, I've got the Dresden plate. I can't hear you, Hannah, sorry. Doing the pointed ones is fine. I'm sorry about this. How do I get the rounded one's hem on the scalloped one? Oh, uh, when she well, does it, it tries to look like a waved edge. Okay. Um, it is easier using this template, and I will just demonstrate with... Um, oh, well, I'll have to use one that I've not... Yeah. Um, no, we're not doing the waved edge. We're doing the pointy edge. Right, go on. So what you do is you do the same thing. You fold the fabric. We got this, Chrissy. Right, we're coming in. So you fold the fabric. Was it Chrissy? Christine. And then, oh, no, it's, right, it's wrong sides oh. together. Sorry, isn't it? Oh, yes, because that would be a tulip, wouldn't but, yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> otherwise it will be completely wrong. And you line it up like that. So you're lining up the edge with the crease. Right. So you're doing the same thing. You're sewing across the top. Instead of drawing a diagonal line, you're actually drawing half of an arc. Yes. Yeah. So you're just trimming off that, yes. that tiny bit there. Okay. Would you do that with a rotary cutter? That's it. Yes, with a rotary cutter. Would you cut again. it before you sewed it? Yes. Because yes. Because you'd need to cut the line. Yeah. And then, you, and then you just would have to turn it Yes. Under. Like we're going to turn ours out. Yeah. So you either can just um, do it you know, finger press it or whatever. Um, this might be the bit that you're talking about where it becomes difficult. So you could use, well, I'm, like I made myself a cardboard template right, of, from that. of the inside part. Yeah. So then I would glue. Or you could use your foil method. And stick that or use the foil. Yeah. Well, I'm doing, I'll show this when I come to do the okay, centre the part. Circle, yeah. But I would use, if, 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 if that's the bit that you're talking about that becomes wavy, just don't make it hard on yourself. Just use the template and, and stick it over so that when you, um, 
you know, when it's finished. When you stitch it down. You've got that nice. Yes. Curved edge. That nice curved edge. And then you just sew those. Okay. Sorry, that's my cardboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. From a cereal box. Get um, through lots of cereal in your house, don't you? <laughs> I've got three children. Yes, we do. So you just fold that, fold, you know, and then that will give you a nice edge. And then yeah. it will be consistent. Yeah, because they'll all be the same. Yeah, because they'll all be the right. same. But once you've cut it, you've already got that shape. Yes. So. So I hope I, that helps. Yeah, I hope, I hope that, that helps. helps. If it didn't, yeah. please let us let, know if let that's not know. what you meant. Yeah. So um, I'll go back to the pointy ones. Yes. So I've chain pieced those, so I'm just clipping in between. Oh, hang on. You've gone straight across. You haven't gone diagonally across. No, not diagonally. Just straight across. Okay. And then we want to clip the corners, which actually I could have done while I was... Um, so where the point's going to be. Well, I'm right confused now. And then... Mm. Shall, I'll do it with the pink one. So I'm just clip the corner. Yeah. Off there. Oh. And then we just fold it. Did you go backwards and forwards at the ends? No, I should have done. Yeah. I did on some. You didn't on this one. Have you just one? pulled that out? <laughs> I did on this one. <laughs> oh, and I've got my stick. Yeah, which is why you should go backwards and forwards at the end. It's, isn't that funny? Because I normally do. I think I was just hurrying. Okay. Oh, I so know. And just, then you press it. Yeah. Got it. So just stick the, stick the point in there. Now, when you come to press it, it's quite important so that each of your plates is even that you get that seam running down the centre. So would where you... you'd finger pressed it in half, yeah. you know, you can just sort of line that up and then press that. So what that did you that do with your seam allowances? Nothing, I didn't do anything. No, but mine, you see. That's it. Yeah, that's it. But when yeah. I'm going to press it down just like that, press, I don't know where my seam allowance is going. You didn't fine. press them open? No. Okay. Don't have time for such things. Okay. Just like that. Right here. See? And then you sew these pieces together. So once you've folded oh, them I, over... Oh, oh, yeah, hand stitch do that. No, no, no. So you can just give those a press. Christine says, thank you, Lucy. Our problem is solved now. Marvellous. Good. So then you just put those together and you're going to right sides together. And from this corner... This edge, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. So all the way down. Oh, right. So okay. don't go from this side. You're sewing down that you'll get edge caught. there. So sewing down yeah. this edge with a quarter inch seam. Now, what I would do is do them all. Yeah, I'm doing them Lay them, for them out how you want, want them. them. And then Do you watch, and then sew when you're not together. here, do you watch us? I say that every day when I'm doing a patchwork. Now, this is what Lucy would do, and she'd take a picture, and she'd do this, <laughs> and she'd do that. I, I went, oh, she'll be watching. Do you know what? I haven't been <gasps> only because, no, only because I have an excuse. Because the um, children are on holiday. Make them so watch. I can't. Well, I could do, but you know. We're better than CBBs or whatever they watch those these days. They're not watching television all morning. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd go sit and watch <laughs> television while Mummy sews. No, we have certain time allowances. Oh, OK. So there we go. That's nice. And then uh, you just keep adding right. all the way around. Oh, so you're not going to do that now then? Now that no. I've pressed these out for you. Shall I? No, you don't have no, to. Of course okay. you don't have to. I'm just showing you here. So um, that's so you just press them to one side. So you can just do a few and press the seams as you're going along right. if you want. To. But as you naturally go... They sort of do. They, yeah. And also they're going to go round in a circle, aren't they? Yes. Don't expect a straight line because they're all slightly on an angle, yeah. Yeah, and I just press to one side with these. I wouldn't faff about pressing yeah. it open. I mean, if that, if you'd prefer to, you can yeah. do, but um, I don't think there's a particular need. OK. So you keep going. Oh, right, so let's move all that out of the way. And as if by magic, so my... Um, Oh. My four-year-old helped design this one. Oh, OK. So she did the fabric placement for this Very one. Very nice. So she's, uh, she's, um, has she gone random? She has, she's hasn't she? She's gone random. I'm proud of her. Because there's a p one pink dot less than all the other fabrics. Yeah. No, no, I completely agree. I love random. A I love nice the cocoa. arrangement. But I'm just saying, because you've got all those checks together. But then, Anyway, yes. I love it. So what I... Well, I'm bringing this as it is because I thought it would be interesting to show putting that last seam because I think for some people, 
you get putting one next to the other, but you can't quite visualise how it's going to... Yes. So, like you were saying, as you're sewing them together, it all it automatically goes around like that. Do you know what? When you're making your kids like little dresses... I wasn't sure what you were going to do no, then. look. Look, you could embellish your dress like that, couldn't you? What do you think I was going to do? No idea. Sorry, I, I was just I'm seeing one you of your little that, ones with like a little... What? I actually quite like no, that. I'm, I'm not, I know I'm knocking the microphone and I do apologise. Oh, I feel very... Um, oh. You know, like those... My, like a mime. Look, 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 look. I'm not into that. No, I'm talking about children now. Little children's <laughs> oh, okay. summer dresses. I just think that would be... Yeah, if you did two, if you made two... Yeah. And you um, slip-stitched around the edge... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, there we go. There's all kinds of things you can exactly, do with it. Exactly, exactly. Right. Embellish um, your clothes. I'm quite fancy doing that, though. Thank I might you. do that next time. Uh, the one... Uh, Hannah hated it, oh, just gosh. so you know. Uh, it, the rustic gingham uh, is this is this one that Lucy's using down here. It's the bottom yeah. row. Twenty. It's very. Pounds, I mean, it should be pretty gingham, shouldn't it? Really? I will do bundles in about ten minutes. Yeah. But right. it is that is a very uh, it's a very cute, you know, nice for children. So, like I said, sorry, you can you can break them up into segments if you want to, and then sew them together. I'm just thinking of all the things you could use for. You could make a child's bib out of that, like a baby's bib. You could a baby's bib. Or you know, really Bill cute. and Ben, and then there was little weed that he's come if you're doing like a. You won't remember yeah, that. No, I do. Weed. Weed. That could be like a little. I mean, I don't remember. I wasn't there, obviously. But... No, we yeah. not. No, I, I had the um, watch with mother on VHS. Oh, okay, not Betamax. We did have a Betamax. Oh, did you? I had Madonna on Betamax. <gasps> right. Anyway, sorry. anyway, sorry. moving on. So. Um, if you want to do it in segments, you can. Personally, I don't see the difference between doing it. It's no harder to just keep sewing them together than it is put them in segments and then put them together. I don't find it difficult to oh, keep Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, because on some quilts you do a, this. Like if you're doing rows, like if you're doing Dresden, yes. you do two rows, two rows, yes. two rows, two rows, then make four row, four row, four yeah. row. Yeah, and in the book, I mean, maybe that's for beginners getting used to it. Just do a section at a time yes. and then piece them yeah. together. Maybe that's the way. But I suppose also you aren't on the straight of grain. You're slightly off the straight of grain, aren't you? So maybe people who are new yes. to it might, if they've got too much going on. Possibly. Yeah. You were, you were a beginner well, once. I, no, I know, but I, I, I do think sometimes you become fearful of things because of that. Not just in actually, sewing. Not just in sewing. But it's not, it isn't, you know, bias isn't anything to be afraid of. Not no. on the straight grain isn't anything to no. be af afraid of. I think if you've got a quality cotton, you know, you, you won't, it's not slippy, it's... You know, obviously yes. some fabrics might yeah. be more Yeah, if you were doing that in silk, it would be different, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. yes. I don't know that I'd attempt that. I might do that by hand. Yes. So anyway. So anyway. So um, I've put them all together, and this final seam isn't any harder either. No. Because you just put, you're pushing this out of the way, so it's no different to sew that last Do you always bit start? Off. Always start on that folded that bit. Top there. And there's two reasons for that. Um, one, so it doesn't catch in your machine. If you were going the other way, you know, you could yeah. fold that back. But also, that's the crucial part where you need them to meet. Here, does not matter because oh, right, you're covering it with a circle or you can fold it under and um, yeah. uh, hide it, you know, the, the seam there. So it's this part here it's where important. you want this diagonal to be in line yes. and then sew down this part here so pin if you i, I mean i rarely pin but uh, just so you know in this uh, bundle here that lucy's using when you all checked out more than half the stock has gone just so you know so there you go easy as dresden plate how fantastic <laughs> yeah so if it was a bigger one would there be less section? No. No, it's always 20. Oh, it's always 20? Always 20. Oh, yes, okay. it's the angle, isn't it, that makes up Of the, course, yeah. Um, so it's always 20 that you need. Right. And then um, because of this, because of um, it's an 18-degree circle. Of course, So you might get bigger, wider ones, perhaps. But, yes, but they'll still be. Slimmer still ones, be, yeah. but, yeah, for this one, it's always 20. Um, so now we need to give it a press. OK, I'll get the iron out. So I press it so that all my seams are going, you know, so it's going around in a circle. Okay, in a spiral. Um, and you spiral. want to just, you do want to pull. 
okay. sli ever so slightly well, you. as you're um, pressing, because you don't because you don't want any of your seams. And um, Hannah's saying there's lots and lots of emails underneath. of all their tips, all, all your tips. On your Dresden, everyone seems to love a Dresden. Uh, she'll pass them all on to Lucy afterwards. We haven't got time to read them all out, I'm afraid now. But thank you. Don't stop. Out, don't stop messaging in. Please, don't stop messaging in. Oh, tips for sewing them. Yes, I think oh, well, all right, tips lovely. about all sorts of Dresdens. Oh, lovely. I'll enjoy reading those. Oh no! Uh, we've got a message. Right. Okay. We've got a message from a customer saying, hello both, no one reads my email, so I'm going to try this. Is the Dresden plate appliqued on the studio cushion? Thank you. Um, we haven't had your email. However, regarding the plique, if you've sent an email in regarding the applique, we haven't had an email about that, and, and your customer hasn't got your name on there. So, so I'm ever so sorry if you think we're not reading your message out. We read as many out as we possibly can. Right. And yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Appliqued on. So um, in the um, instructions in the book, she's um, hand appliqued it. I've machine appliqued it. So I've used the um, purple thread that comes with in that bundle, liquid. with that bundle. Lucy, have you ever had your Dresden not lie flat? I have, from Pat yes. in Merseyside. That's either probably because you've added an extra piece Right, not or 20. not done enough. Well, for this, it's 20. It depends on the pattern and the, and the angle of the, of oh, the wedge. Oh, okay, okay. So, so on this one, it's always 20. Yes, but on, on this, other it's Dresdens. always 20, but with a different angle, it could be different. Right. Um, but you, it's probably too many or too few. So have a look at the instructions of whatever um, the pattern that you're using. Um, alternatively, it might just be pressing. So as I was pressing it, then it sort of was bunching yeah. up, but it's just getting it, um, you know, so all your, none of your seams are folded over. Um, so it, it could be in the pressing, but my um, gut feeling, Patricia, is possibly that you've, you've done one too many. Or one not enough. Or one not enough. Well, it's not like your angles all have to add up to 360, don't they? Exactly. So. Yeah. So it just depends on the time. I mean, and this is what's so great about this is, You'd you just don't have to, don't have to think that. about it. So long what, as you've got 20. What's the next stage then? So the next stage is um, appliquing it onto the background. OK, when you, when you make a quilt... Can I just press this? Oh, I'll do it for you. Oh, okay. When you make a quilt... Yes. Oh, that's, oh, I'll do it for you. <laughs> of Dresden's, <laughs> no, do you, are you they out. always appliqued onto the background yes. and then the backgrounds are sewn together? You would never yes. attach this to another Dresden? I would not. I don't know if I've ever. I well, don't we've got a couple of images coming up in a minute. It. So, um, as far as I know, they are always appliqued. Traditionally, they would always be. Oh, okay. So, appliqued. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it, even if it was like a quarter one. It's always appliqued. It's always appliqued. Okay. Yes. Got a couple of people's images coming up, Lucy. If you'd like to put the screen. You can't show. We've got loads. We can't show all of them. I'm you afraid. You could English paper piece. Okay. Shapes in between and to connect them. Do you stalk? I made a flower out of it. Anyway, have, oh yes. my word! Oh, that's beautiful. That is. Ian's beautiful. wife made that quilt, Judy. That's the quarter. Oh, hang on. Oh, sorry. That's the quarter one in the corner that we saw earlier, isn't and it? It makes so, that and sort of secondary shape, yeah. doesn't it? Beautiful. beautiful. Uh, next, that's Ian and Judy. Wow. We just said it at the same time. This is Ruth. Oh, lovely. Christmassy. She made three and made them into a table runner. Oh, lovely. Oh, she's just down the road to us here. It's a, it's a middle gold. Was it it the looks moon? gold, doesn't it? Very Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Oh, she says, everybody at home, give it a go. You'll fall in love with it. Yeah. And then this one, last one. Oh, hang on. This. <gasps> she made them into a wreath. She's used a Dresden plate to use Christmas wreath, to make a Christmas wreath. Genius. I don't know how that works. Oh, no, I know. I know what she's done is she's sewn those two, she's made two and sort of bagged them, them out together. and stuffed them. <gasps> Beautiful. That's a nice idea. Anyway, thank you for all your pictures. 
Right, carry on. Very inspired. Oh, no, I've got two fabrics. Got two fabrics. Right, so Am you, I doing that at Christmas? Might you? I love that wreath. Oh. Um, wait. Okay. Three bundles to show you very quickly because I know Lucy's got. It's more interesting to look at Lucy than it is at me. Um, so the one that Lucy's using, the gingham. So you get half a meter, half a meter, half a meter, half a meter, half a meter. You get two and a half meters of fabric. There's an awful lot of fabric. You could make quite a few cushions out of this, couldn't you? Yeah. Two and a half meters of fabric. 28 pounds and 45 pence. You get the thread. You get the embroidery thread. You get the two and a half meters of fabric. You get the wadding. There's the kit, 28 pounds and 45 pence. The one that Lucy's already made out of the frou-frou fabric. Half a meter of each of the fabrics, four patterns and one plain. Thread and embroidery thread and the wadding. 43 pounds and 45 pence. It's gorgeous, it's lovely, I love the frou-frou. Uh, well, and then last but not least, now this one, you haven't seen this one at all, but I love it. This is going to be very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, it'll look like, the, uh, like, a, uh, like a plate, won't it? Because you've got those lovely kind of ceramic-y tones in there. Um, you've got the four colours, the plain, you've got the thread, you've got the embroidery thread and the wadding for £31.45. and pence. There's your kit. Right, I'll go through the, I promise I'll go through the book in a minute. I'll go through the book it's in a minute. It's quite country cottage, isn't yes, it, that one? Yes, yes. It's nice. nice. I launched those fabrics, they're lovely. Yeah, yeah the frou-frou, though, I have to say, feels incredible. Mm. More like a look. It oh, it is, it's like, a, did I say Liberty Lawn? That's yeah. exactly it feels, what it's like. It yeah. feels yeah. just like that. Yeah. But it's um, not sort of, sh you know, it's not shiny. No, no. But it's really lovely to yeah. work with. I really, that's really like that. That's the Dixie, the one that's in the, um, in the grab. Well, this one, it's this one, it's this one. Right. Move my mum's knitting right, got needle. 15 minutes. Lisa. Mum's knitting needle out of the way. That's oh. fine. No rush. So um, we're going to applique this onto the background. Back yeah. So um, I, you, I don't know what the measurement of this is. It's I in apologize, the book, isn't but it's it? in the book. Um, and then a tip for centering the Dresden, which is important if you're um, making a cushion or if you're doing quilt blocks. Well, I was going to say it's in more, the centre of your block. You want it yeah, centred. You want don't more you? centred. So it's just to... Um, so after I've ironed it nice and flat, After you've ironed it, I'm going to press, but I'm just going to press in the centre. Okay. Okay. And then the opposite way. And again, just in the centre. And that's going to give us a nice creased cross just in the centre. And then we can centre that point... Okay. In the circle. So if you want to, you can press all the way across and sort of try and line. Yeah. But they don't quite anyway. But I Depending think that's on nice because it looks like they're on movement in them, yes. isn't it? Yes. So just having that cross there gives you a guide yeah. for um, and you can iron that out where to place it. Well, oh, you're it's going to get covered up it's anyway. It's going to get covered yeah. up, so it doesn't matter. So um, then all I've done is just applique So you don't bond around the, the edges. or anything on? You, you can if you want to. But my preference yes. is the glue well, stick. Well, it's going to be quite difficult to bond with that because you've got all the, the points and dips and everything like that. Exactly. So literally just a little, just a little sort of OV. splodge of, yeah. well, you can do however you like. On every one? You don't have to. I like things being very secure before I'm yeah. doing anything with them. So I would do... Um, of course, you can pin, but again, this is just something that's so... T it's just time-saving. I think, pin yeah, but pinning, I think sometimes the pin doesn't hold it like the glue does. does no, it? and the pins get in the way, yeah. and the glue just washes out, so... And it's... if you stitch through this glue, it doesn't clag your needle up, does no, it? No, and it, if, even if you do find, you know, if you're doing a lot of them and you're getting a bit of residue on your needle, you just wipe it. Yeah. Um, wipe it down. Glue pen going across the bottom there, three ninety-five. I do. I use the glue. I've just glued that one. Yeah. I use the glue a lot because it's so quick and saves time. And it, it, you know, it then it won't move as you're. Yeah. As you're, that's it. Yeah. As you're sewing. 
So oh, Ruth, you know the picture we showed you earlier with Ruth's Christmassy table runner? And we said, is it gold or is it... Uh, what's in the middle? She said, the centre is cream with gold embroidery, a recycled jacket. Wow. And was it oh, that's lovely. Anna says, can she have the jacket? Right. So this machine comes with a um, special applique foot, which I like to use because it gives me a perfect guide Comes with the machine, comes with the machine, the 680 machine. Yeah, for placement. But what I would suggest is if your machine only has, you know, a normal foot, is just to play around with the needle position till you find a place where you can use the edge of the Dresden as your guide and have your needle come close to the edge because that's far easier using the edge of the foot than it is to try and get the edge perfectly yes. going under yeah. the centre of the of the yeah. foot. So I'm just going to position that. So you're just literally using a straight, straight stitch about an eighth of an inch yes. in from the edge of all of the points. Points, yes. And I'll just demonstrate this quickly oh, so yes, that I can would. show that I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want to show the circle. Yeah. So um, you can, this machine has a locking stitch, so I can do that first because it's going to go on the back. Nobody's going to see it. Yeah. But if you don't have that on your machine, you could just do um, a, a few very, very small stitches. Could you just tie off? Could you just tie it off and stitch yes, through? Yes, you can do. Yeah. Um, I just need to interrupt Lucy for a second. If you've got the Dresden uh, ruler in your basket, you do need to check out. £20.95. Any size up to a nine inch, that one does. Okay, back to the sewing. So all I'm doing is sewing down each side and you can see this foot's got a little um, sort of ledge in it. So I can follow that along the edge. And then you just go up to the seam. Yeah, pivot. Lift your foot, pivot. Make sure the needle's down. Needle down, yes. One of the things I love about this machine because well, I, didn't have that, I didn't have that on my old one. I've got it on mine. Yeah. It's a really nice feature to, to have. My machine that my friend Dulcie's got at the moment. How's she getting on? We, we, we've, got them, we've got them exactly the same time. We both got them from... Um, well, we both got them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, John and Lucy. The putting round the neck and arms is a fantastic idea. Yes! You're both wonderful. That's Jane in South Yorkshire. Thank you, Jane. Thanks, well. Jane. That was a brilliant idea. So you just keep going um, all the way around. The other option is to hand sew it, in which case you just want to come out at the crease. And you can go right behind because yes. either it's going to be in a quilt or a cushion, nobody's going to yeah, see exactly. it, so you don't need to worry too much okay. about your stitches. So once you've done that, and appliqued all the way around. Yeah. Can I ask a quick question? Do yes. you only go around the edge? Could you... You don't need to go down the petals no. if you don't want to, do you? If you quilt it, though, could you go mm -hmm. down the petals? You, you could. The thing with quilting is... Can I show you yeah, in the yeah. cushion? So I quilted... I did it just as they'd done it in the... As she'd done it in the book. Yeah. So I quilt... You, can barely see because it's yes. in the red, but I've done a line. So that's the machine stitching there, and then I've done a line of hand quilting um, inside yeah. the circle, and then obviously I've echo quilted yes. around here. But if you're putting it on a quilt for your bed, yes. The thing is, if if it's a bigger one, if it was a bigger Dresden, you would need to right. because of the distance between the quilting. Yeah. Usually with wadding, it varies, but it's. You know, it might be six inches apart, nine inches apart, whatever yeah. it is. You need to look at um, the, wadding. the wadding that comes with the wadding, whatever the manufacturer says. But so, for example, with this one, I've got a line of stitching there, a line of stitching there. That's enough. It doesn't yeah. need it. But the other thing to take into account is whichever part you quilt recesses and the unquilted part oh, puffs, out. puffs out. So if you're going to quilt in these, which if it was larger, you would need to, um, you just want to think about where you want to do it and how you want to do it. You know, if you did like a line in the centre, which might be like a vein of a petal, yeah. that might look really nice because that fabric's still going to yeah. puff out. So it's just something to, 
to bear in mind when you're deciding where you want to quilt. Okay, let's get on with the circle. Is that circle next? So, well, then you can cut out the back part. Yeah. Um, so I use the duckbill scissors yes. um, for doing that. So all you need to do, I, I'd go from the middle because you've got no fabric on the other side yeah. there, but you just snip into that and then you cut all, cut it away so that you've got less bulk. So you cut the whole thing away? Up to, up you to know, up yeah, to the, up I to mean, the points. to be honest, I just did it like a circle and left the points because yes. it, you know. I mean, if you're doing a really big quilt, you might want to just to reduce because you've yes. got bulk there exactly. anyway. So then you've got three layers there. Um, but that's just a person, that's a personal decision. You don't have to, or you can. Oh, and um, Pauline wants to see the, the, yes, um, the foot. That was what I was fine. trying to do it discreetly. So um, you actually get two applique feet with the machine. You get the um, F and the F2, I believe. Yeah. And the F um, is the one that has a little ledge and a little pointer mark yeah. for where you can line your needle up. That's great for, um, you know, edging like I've done here for doing yeah. a plique. And then the... That's that one that Lucy's talking that's about. That's that one, the F. And then the F2 is... is it's completely more, open. More standard yes. open um, applique foot. So if you were doing decorative applique or you want to be able to put the, the edge of the applique in the centre and do a decorative stitch or whatever it may be. I mean, that's a useful... But it means your needle things, can go wherever it wants and it's not got any go. worry about it. It can with this one as well, but the advantage of this one is it's just got a little... Ridge. The, little ridge that yes. it sort of goes goes on to. Yeah. So um, they come with the machine. Two. If you buy the 680, they come with the machine. Yeah, and the, I mean, I'm, I use yeah, it... Yeah, you can do a plique with just a normal foot, but they're a special, a special one. Yes, you can. You yeah, don't, you don't have to have... My just got the normal foot. Yeah, you don't have to have the special feet, but yeah. I really love that F foot. I think it's okay. brilliant. So you can cut it away. So it's personal choice. Depends on the weight, the project that you're doing. If you were just doing a cushion, personally, I I might not no. cut it away. Okay. Um, but it's that's up to it's you. Up to you, yeah. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay, so then so we need to get on the circle. circle. So you're cutting a square of fabric. I think it's five inches, four and a half inches, something like that. Um, go on, thank you. Oh, I think I forgot the right end. Uh, five? Five and a quarter. Oh, would it? I mean, it's five. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> it doesn't need to be exact. Um, and then you can use the... Template. Template to cut your circle out. Now, if you have a smaller rotary cutter, the 28... Eight or the 18. Oh, I would use that for cutting a circle because it can However, be a little bit tricky. I'm stepping right back However, I'm just using what I have. So you want to really press down firmly on the template. I'll just stay oh. here just to be safe. Joy always makes me move away from the I'm table, you see. I'm just going to cut that out. I know she does. You're right. There's less than 10 of the gingham Dresden plates. Uh, oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. And if you have a rotating mat, that might come in useful as well. Excellent. I know, I'm letting Lucy finish speaking. Um, the Dresden, the Dresden plate template. Very, very limited now. Very, very limited. Okay, right. So that's three and a half, and then you need a three inch um, circle. So there are a couple of different ways you can do this. Last time I did it with freezer paper, so yes. that's one method. Um, and actually somebody said you can use two layers of freezer paper, which I've since tried, and that's fantastic. We had freezer so paper that's in that's sold out last week. Yeah, yeah, the two layers of freezer paper just make it easier to press over. Right, yes. However, as somebody that doesn't love ironing or the iron in general, and for people who may not have the dexterity or not want to get that close with an iron with their yeah, you fingers. you do get close with your fingers on that one. This is an alternative. So what I've done is I've drawn, you can see where I've had my um, compass. Yeah a three inch circle. Which is and what I've your just, finished shape size is gonna be. It's what your finished size is gonna be. So I've just used a compass to draw out a three inch circle and which actually you can 
you know, that has got the, the seam allowance in there, so you can check that you've got yeah. a three inch. So even if you want to draw around something, you could check it. And then I've cut it out of cardboard and cereal box because that's a nice weight. And then I'm using my glue stick. Oh, glue sticks come in handy a lot, this project. And just running a small amount around the edge. And then I'm going to fold the fabric over. So I'm just pressing a bit at a time and it's going to bunch like that, which is but what it's going it to do that do. anyway with whatever method you use, it's going to bunch over. Isn't yes. It? And what I want it to do, what I, as I'm pressing, I'm pressing it right along the edge because I want a smooth um, edge to the fabric. Yeah. OK, because that's what's really important when you come to um, applique it, obviously. So I'm just using my cardboard template. I think I went a bit wonky when I was cutting. That's okay, because I've got a template. <laughs> <laughs> and then press that over. But with the glue, you, it means you can move it. You can reposition right it, place, get yeah. it in the right place, make sure it's folded over, and there you've got your perfect circle. So then all I'm going to do is give that a press. And I can just because I've just got the cardboard in there, probably just pressing it from the front is enough. You don't need to worry about the glue. Hot. A bit hot. It's not too hot. With my foil, with the foil, if you do it the foil way, you've got yes. to be um, careful. And then because the glue is just temporary, it's really easy. You don't want to use a lot of glue. That's re it's really important. Yeah, don't use, use too much. Don't use too much because it will be sticking. You've only got, you know, your quarter of an inch seam allowance. But you just peel that back all the way around. You know, I'm not really having to pull. It's not difficult to remove it. Grab hold of that bit, she says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take that away and you've Still got, got, got that your, perfectly yes, yeah. pressed outline. Oh, so no, go ahead. So then, what I like to do is use the glue again, and just and more glue, more glue, just along that seam. There. Oh yes, yes, yes. So where you've pressed it over, just dot it around. Obviously, if you've cut away the back of your applique background, yes. you don't have anything to stick it to there. Yeah. But if you've left that, you can put a bit of glue in there yeah. as well, just to hold it in place. And then you just want to position this. So you're covering, it might be a bit high. So you're covering all of your seams. So before glue sticks, like yes. you just pinned it in and then hand whipped it or slip stitched yes. it in. Yeah. And I mean, even if I'm hand, which I do hand sew, I still use the glue because I'm not putting the yeah. glue where I'm... I'm um, just thinking when they traditionally did it, they went to had a glue stick. No, 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 no. But you, yeah, yes, you just pin it in place. And of course, yeah. you can pin it in place. Not, no, 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 no. You know, no, but why pin it in place? It's not a right or a like wrong way, but the, that, right place. Uh, the thing I love about it is it's just so quick and easy to do. It's, it's temporary, so you're not, it's not staying in there. It's not damaging the fabric in any way. And then you, you don't even have to take pins out as you're sewing because you just yes. sew around. Well, especially when you're in a circle. So then you either can whip stitch yeah. um, by hand or you can um, just stitch. do exactly the same as I've done along the edge. Right. And because actually the curve isn't um, too small, you don't need to stop. And, you will need to stop and pivot, but not. As much, as yes. much, and you can sort of turn it as you're. So it's quite funny. So going. this 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 ruler, which is nearly sold out, but down to single figures. If you do a nine inch one, the yes. circle in the middle is still the same size. Yes. So you're going to get a completely different look. Look, yes. if these are nine inches in length, and then yes. you have that circle in the middle. Yes. <clears throat> and you could make a bigger circle if you wanted to. No, no. But you could what... you could layer circles um... and have this one be the central one and do a larger one if you wanted to. There's loads of different effects that you can get. Obviously, your background square is going to be bigger depending yes. on the size. I think. Yes, so in the um, like instruction thing that yes. comes with, with the ruler, it has the finished block size, the finished size of the plate, so the finished width there, and the cut 
um, the sizes of the cut segments. So it's all laid out for you there. So if you do want to do big quilt blocks, yeah. it's very, very easy. You've got all your measurements there that you need for the squares for your background. Now it's saying it's, oh no, finished block size 20 inch, but you would yeah, be Yes, so you're going to cut, that's your finished block size. Yeah. You need to cut your background fabric a half an inch bigger. So yes. if I want a 10 inch block, I'm cutting the um, three inch wedges. Yeah. I'm going to want a 10 and a half inch square of fabric to put the plate on. Right. It's saying there, 20, 20 inch finished block size, 16 and a half inch plate. But we can't use that to a 16 and a half inch plate. That, that one just goes up to a nine inch plate, doesn't it, that one? Look. Yes. I don't, I don't you have a look at that while All I right, look at I'll the book, because the book's gorgeous. Lucy and I were looking at this before, uh, and it really is. If you've just started, because lots and lots of our, our, our viewers are saying, oh, Lucy's inspired me to quilt, or Joy's inspired me to quilt, or Angie's inspired me to quilt. This is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant book to start off with. Loads of people... Uh, right, lots of people messaging and saying they love the Dresden and it's a good one to have a go at. Now, all the techniques, everything you need to know in here, before you even start on any of the projects, all of the techniques are here and how you do them. Quilting, everything. So we haven't even got to a project yet. This is all about the binding. And then we get to the projects you see here. So we've got the um, little needle book. So if you want to just start small, rosette needle book, you see? And then you just kind of carry on going through them. Sample, seed head table mat. You see what I mean? It's just now very, very good for somebody who's just starting. Look, simple, but they're, they're quite striking projects. We'll look at the one we're doing today. Um, windmill. I love that one. I think nice, it's really isn't it? Windmill one. Um, did I say scooter stripe? Yes. Oh, yeah, there's a scooter in the middle there. But to do that, you'd have to have the scooter fabric, obviously. Here and there, quilt. You can make these. You can just customise the. Oh, that's nice. I really like that one. Box du jour. Uh, that's pretty, isn't it? So there's lots of different techniques in there. So you, and you're really building up your skills to, to, you know, to do the different things. But the instructions are fantastic. She really talks you through, you know, each project and, and what you need and how to do it. And it's very clear illustration. We should have done that. That looks really interesting, though. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Funky what? Funky town wall hanging. That's brilliant. What a lovely book. £14.95. Beginner's Guide to Quilting. Right, OK. What else do you need to tell so, us about this? No, you were just confusing me. So the, oh, yes, that's sorry. the. I was confusing you. This, yeah, the 16 and a half is the finished size of the plate, so the cut size is 8 inch. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's 16 yeah. from there to there. Yes. So you've got an 8 inch and an 8 inch. So that, what the finished size of the, yes. of the plate is. Got it, is. sorry. Um, but it's really, you know, it's no more time, it's more fabric, but it's no more time to cut out the, the, big the bigger ones. ones. But with enough fabric in our bundles to cut out the bigger ones, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Right. So you'd have a quilt in no time. I've only got these. five minutes left, Lucy. Is there anything else you want to talk? Because I've got an announcement to make. I've got to go through the bundles. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yes. This? So there's a couple of things. So the first thing is with the wadding that you get, yes. um, because it is like a, a craft wadding, so it is quite thick and lofty. So what I did um, when I came to quilt it was I actually separated it. Oh, OK. So as it comes, it's like that. Right. So that's quite, it's quite thick. And because I was hand stitching, I thought it's quite a lot to go through. Yeah. So all I did was peel it. Right. And it literally... It means you have twice as much then. So you've got twice as much. So it's, it's not... But if you feel that, it still feels lofty. You still, it's still padded. He was in, in EastEnders, the, wasn't he? In the cushion, I don't know. Um, so you just... Sorry. I haven't got time for television. I'm sewing I think you too much and sewing. Front, and watch the telly. So if you if you just you need to be careful, yes, but you sure. can you know separate it. Yeah. You don't want to get clumps, but that still gives you um, loft to do that. Then for the quilting, I use the embroidery floss, which I wouldn't recommend doing on a quilt or something that's going to be washed a lot, right? Because um, embroidery thread is made a different way. Right. But for something decorative... What would you use then if you're going to do a quilt? I would use either a thicker cotton, like a pearl cotton or a, um, 
a heavier weight yes. of, of cotton if you wanted this sort of a look. But I'm, I'm only asking because it looks lovely on that little cushion, but as you say, if you're making a big yes. quilt, you don't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, if you're doing a quilt, you don't want to use embroidery floss. But for this, because it's just a decorative um, cushion, I used the embroidery floss and I separated it and I used three strands, strands out of it. Brilliant. Um, for that. When are you back next? Uh, you don't know. Next, Bye. I do know next week. Oh, next week. Oh, I'm so very exciting. excited about right. it. Right, thank you so much. It's a okay. joy to see you. Uh, come with me, come with me, come with me. My head's up shirt. Over to the other side. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's always lovely to see Lucy, isn't it? Uh, three bundles, the one that uh, Lucy was using. Uh, the gingham, the, the um, really lovely, half metre, half metre, half metre, and the spot and the plane, the embroidery thread, the thread, and the uh, wadding, which you can split in half. 28 pounds and 45 pence, the rustic ging. The thing is, you don't have to make the, the, the um, Dresden plate out if you don't want to. You've got two and a half metres of fabric in there to do with as you please or as you so wish. Then we've got the one that Lucy actually made, made out of the frou-frou fabrics, which, is, oh, is this the most popular? This is the most popular, it's because Lucy loves it, you see. These fabrics are gorgeous. These three, uh, they're like cotton lawns, are absolutely beautiful. Three frou-frou fabrics which we haven't really seen much of. And then you've got the spot on purple, the white, the embroidery thread. Uh, really, really lovely. Two and a half metres of fabric, 43 pounds and 45 pence. There's the kit. And then last but not least, and I always feel a bit sorry, that so we had a bundle earlier, didn't we, that got just, got left sort of thing in the middle. And it was, the, the one earlier was, this is popular as well, but you don't ever, you don't ever get it seeing made. You don't ever see it getting made, do you really? Oh no, it's still popular. It's still popular, but we've hardly given it any attention. I don't know what that feels like. Hannah's getting all defensive now. There's the kit, 31 pounds and 45 pence. Right. Before we do the menu, I have to tell you something. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, it'll be me, I'm on. I'm getting, I've got a very, hour, I've got one hour special. Do you remember when we did the clearance last week? And I kept saying, if you go to the web, there are fabrics you haven't seen. There are... Anyway, we're gonna do an hour of selected clearance fabrics that have been on the web, but you might not have seen them watching the telly. So none of them were in the clearance last week on the telly. So they're gonna be on the telly in the clearance for the first time at the clearance price tomorrow. Just one hour at 11 o'clock tomorrow. 11 o'clock tomorrow. But I've got a fantastic day tomorrow. Do you wanna see the menu? Because uh, if we did that, you see, it would have, it would have given it, look, uh, Fantastic Friday. Eight o'clock is Miss It, Miss Out. Now that is not the sale, but it's fabrics that when they've gone, they've gone, right? Then at nine and 10, a two hour special, we've got a launch of Sizzix. You've seen the advert. We're gonna have a spe uh, um, an expert in showing you how to do it. You're all very, very excited about that. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got the fabric sale, which is what I didn't want you to see the menu because it would have given away my special thing. No, it's Timothy I'm talking to. Anyway. If you've got any problems, just ring the call centre, 0800 112 4433. Make sure you go to the web. Underneath me there are all the things that are still for sale, that are still available. If it's sold out, you won't appear down there. It won't appear down there. So if, you, um, if you're uh, watching later on and you're watching the repeat, uh, then everything, everything is down there. Or just give us a call, 0800 112 4433. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.